Did you guys at least even read the handout I gave you, or is it all going to be right now? Yeah, right now. Right now. Right now. Okay. Matt, Alex? Oh, uh, I read it. definitely knew. <laughs> Oh, hey, someone read it right glad. now. Everybody else is like, oh, yeah, totally don't go ahead and read for Josh. Yeah, I read it, though. <laughs> Thanks, Josh, for all the hard work you put in and all the preparation you do for us. Yeah, it is what it is, man. I have a busy life. I'm sorry. But you're quarantined. Yeah, but I still have There's to. literally nowhere you can go. But I work from here. So I set up a little office. I still have to work. I watch the kids. I make meals. I'm a busy guy, man. <laughs> All right. All right. The first section, the Gray Mercies. Earlier this month, each of you has been in contact with a man named Good Guy Eddie. He's the son of a local crime boss and one of the most famous families in the Rift, the Gray Mercies. Eddie is the only link each of you has to the others and the only person here that you can really even trust. Good guy Eddie has entrusted your group with a heist that'll be a capstone in your career should you prove successful. This is the reason you've all um, signed on to this heist. This is the reason you are here today, meeting right now, in that mansion or wherever. I don't really care. You pick the location. You're in a bar. Bloated goat. The bloated goat. You're in the bar called the bloated goat. Yes. And they serve, what do you think they serve? Probably mutton. Horse. <laughs> they serve goat. What yeah, are you talking right, about? Be... Goat, obviously. Obviously. And some eggs. Because you need eggs. You four are an elite group of thieves charged with the difficult task of inf infiltrating one of the Grey Mercy's rivals, the Hanovers. It's rumored that the Hanovers has, have happened upon a treasure beyond value. A treasure that grants immortality to anyone, and they're hiding it in their vaults below the Hanover High Manor. There's only one way into the vault, and the entrance is inside the manor itself. No rival has ever stepped foot inside of this manor, so once you're in, you'll have to be quick to find the entrance into the vault. Once you find the entrance, make sure to regroup and head down together. Who knows what's lying in wait down there. And, um, that's your warning. You can split up if you want. Just, I'm throwing that out there that you will die. I am totally going to split up at some point. Okay, well you will die. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Alex and I got, got this, dude. Don't worry about it, Josh. It will be no. done. No, it's cool. I, I think we can get this done. We can. <laughs> <laughs> but don't split up right got you but you can getting into hanover high is not easy as it sounds even though it's just one of the many estates throughout the city that they own it's still under heavy guard should the guards be alerted to your presence early on it'll make getting out with the artifact almost impossible not only have they hired guards some of the early reports indicate that there were multiple cages being brought into the house and the presence of guard dogs is assured. Rules of the heist. Before you go, you need to get these things straight. Nobody here is to know each other's names. Don't share your personal information with anyone. We don't want you knowing who each other is or why. We don't want you knowing anything about them just in case you're caught. If you get caught, you don't know good guy Eddie or his father. Joe. This should go without saying, but if you rat, they'll hunt you down. And they'll make sure this is the last time you ever talk again. The goal is to get in and out without being discovered, so stay quiet. If any guards are alerted to your presence, take care of them. And these are not city guards. There's no jail sentence waiting for you. If you get caught, you're likely dead. If you split up, you're likely dead. So take care of them basically means like kill the f out of them, right? Oh, you you can uh, interpret that however you like. That's the way my character sees it. Cut their tongues out <laughs> and stab their eyes. That's horrible. I'm just going to shoot them and kill them. <laughs> Not Mr. White. Dang, Mr. White. That's <laughs> hardcore. Right? 
<laughs> Mr. White, you also have an inspiration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super messed up. Like, God, the dog got their eyes out. Inspiration. <laughs> we reward well, your to wickedness. Be fair, to be fair, <laughs> he got it before that happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you can thank Ray Ray Gamer Man. He wants to see that. Hell yeah. Ray Ray Gamer Man, you don't know what you're signing on for, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I also want trash cans. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Come on. I'm just going to walk out. <laughs> you can mute his microphone, by the oh, way. Oh, I can? That's great. Well, you can mute hearing his microphone. Ah, uh, hmm. You can't actually mute him. Oh, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's test it out. You're like, oh, man. Hey, Matt. <laughs> oh, Ready? G rated right now. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't hear him anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Josh. Can he, hear, Josh. can he hear me? I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. All right, I'll unmute you. Okay, you're back. You're beautiful. That was so great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's all new for everyone. Everyone's having too much fun with it. All right, let's go kill stuff. All right, let me uh, fix my overlay. How do I roll? Hey, Alex, you're hmm? better at this shit than I am. How do I roll the advantage, man? Do I just roll it twice? Uh, you just roll it twice. You could do that. Otherwise, if you click at the uh, Beyond 20 in the top middle, there's an option for type of roll. Normal roll, roll with advantage, roll with disadvantage. But you have to check it on and off each time. Yeah. So it might just be easier to roll twice. I'll just roll. I'll roll three times because I have elven accuracy. Right, so if I roll the advantage, I get to roll. Well, you three. roll if you get advantage. You roll three times. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So it's either one time or three times. With my Sweet. with dexterity related things, anyways. All right, you guys are sitting in the bloated goat there with Joe and Eddie both. You are eating mutton and eggs. You have your ale, and they're kind of going over everything with you. I'm going to have you guys do a little bit of the recon. Okay. So Joel will start talking. All right, I need everyone here. Who's the best at recon? Uh I'm good at it. Can you do you think you get up to Hanover High Mansion? Uh Yeah, probably. Where is it again? It's on the southern upper rift. Uh, it's right there. Is there a way up beside... Yeah. What are the usual ways in? It's definitely a gated building. To get close, you'll have to go past the gates if you want to see anything. There's a forest that's built around it for privacy. I think uh, with my ability to climb, if we have uh, Mr. Blue, yeah, watch me from the far away, and if uh, anyone spots me, you can snipe them from afar. Sure. So you're going to go then, Mr. Red? It'll be you. I believe I would be the best suited. And how are you going to get over the gates? You're just going to climb over? They have guards, they have patrols. I'm pretty sneaky. I plan on uh, taking some time to uh, notice when the guards will pass by. Time it so that no one is there. And climb over quickly. If the guards are good, they'll right. keep in a regular pattern. We wouldn't know that until so we... That'll be yeah. your, uh, that'll be the first task before you even go. And then, do you want to hit them during the day or during the night? Night. Nighttime would be better for cover. As long as, uh, uh, Mr. Luke can see decent in the dark. Yeah, I can see in the darkest as well as you can, probably. Can everyone here see in the dark? Mr. White? Mr. Way can see. Mr. Me. Brown cannot. I can't. Mr. Sure. So only Mr. Brown can. Well, tough on you, Mr. Brown. 
<laughs> Sucks to be you. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I need you to pick out some uh, equipment, tools of the trade. This is the time to grab anything you need, and I'll give everyone one of these. And he uh, pulls out four different scrolls for everyone. Hands them to you. Ooh. I think all rogues can use magical items. Am I correct in that? Uh, it depends on the dungeon master, but no. <laughs> oh, well, can any of you use them? Nope. I can't. You can't use it normally unless it's on your class's spell list. I don't have a spell list. Well, these will be no use to you. Right. <laughs> Unless you change your world, because some DMs let everybody use scrolls because it makes it more like high fantasy. It's up that, to you. I thought that was 3.5. No. Well, we're doing a one shot. You can all use these scrolls. Here nice. <laughs> they could be anything, but today they're scrolls. Okay. Each one is a scroll of silence. Oh, nice. So they can cast the silence spell once. One time. I'm going to use One mine time. on Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad call. <laughs> and then just that might them. actually save your life. <laughs> yeah, right. All of a sudden, I have a strong craving for rotten banana peel. Mm. See? That's what I'm saying right there. These are the reasons we don't... <laughs> now, I can mute him in Discord. Just so... <laughs> <laughs> You're asking for it. I, I think you're mistaken about who's asking for what, friend. <laughs> we have enough resources here before you set out. So what do you need? I'd like a climbing kit. If we're going to be out on an upper rift. Alright. We can get that for you. Uh, are talking magical or non-magical items? Non-magical. Mm. I already gave you magical items. Okay. Um... Speaking of which, why don't you go ahead and describe your character, any of your, um, anything you want to share that's not a secret from the others. Like, if you're planning to betray everyone, don't tell them that. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but you go first, Mr. Blue. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Blue is about, I don't know, 5'10". He's pretty thin, he weighs maybe a buck 40 to a buck 60. He's a slight little guy. Uh, really dark tanned skin, almost kind of um, wooden in color, dark black hair, golden eyes, classic wood elf. Um, he looks like he's more outfitted for a day out in the woods than he is for a day in the city. You know, green cloak, uh, comfortable studded leather armor, stuff like that. Massive longbow. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. White. Uh, Mr. White, hi, elf. Um, your high elf? Yeah, I'm a high elf. I, oh. He changed it from drow since he picked the very wrong picture for a drow. <laughs> <laughs> if Honestly, you're a high elf, I, I, I don't hate you. Yeah, you do. No, uh, I hate uh, humans. Oh, well, guess what? High elf, this Mr. White loves wood elves. Things in the ship. Uh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, he's uh, he's a pretty flashy rogue uh, uh, or thief. Uh, he uh, he's uh, very cocky, and uh, he's very very handsome. Right. Go ahead, Mister Red. Uh, Mister Red is uh, Simic hybrid. Uh, he's got a uh, like a manta cloak kind of thing going on in the back that uh, allows him to glide. Uh, yeah, only it's also... you, right? It's like your skin flaps or something. Yeah, yeah. I got the, I got the back skin flaps that allow me to glide. <laughs> uh, he's uh, okay. blue, and he's got kind of like uh, whiskers coming off to the side that are tentacle-like. Uh, I kind of imagine for his climb speed, he's got like suction hands, kind of like Spider-Man. Only uh, that's not weird at all. Oh yeah, that's not weird at all, right? Sweet. So 
So what are Simic hybrids? That's more for me, because I have no idea about them. Uh, they're basically people who were experimented on, and uh, they've taken animal-like traits. Hmm. Magical experiments. Okay. Freaks of nature gone wrong. Yep. Sounds cool-ish, I guess. I figure my character got uh, his upgrades from uh, a, a benefactor that decided to help get a rogue on his side. So, what well, is your base class or your base race? I mean, uh, it didn't ever ask that, but I figured probably elf. That's good. Go team elf. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks, guys, for the uh, descriptions. Mr. Brown is a turtle. That's all you need to know. He's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> if Brian joins us later, then he will speak more. Right now, he doesn't say a damn word. Nice. The yeah, silent exactly. Parker. I love it. What was that? Oh, I think we lost someone. Just Brian. Oh, yeah. He is probably being... He's busy. He's doing dad stuff. All right. So let's start with the reconnaissance. And that'll be you two, Mr. Red and Mr. Blue. Yep. Mr. Red, you're going to be making a climb check. Are you going up the roof? You just have a climb speed. So you're yeah. going to be making a stealth check. So you're going stealth. up the side of the rift. Let oh, we're going climbing. up the side of the rift right now? No, I don't know. Well, you can get up there. You don't have to climb the cliff sides to get up there. Okay. There's ways around. It's just, it's a long way around. All right. We'll be stealthy and, whoa. Something happened. Yep. I changed the page. So, based on what you guys roll, more of the map will be revealed to you. Oh. So, I'm So, go ahead and give me a stealth roll, Mr. Red. That would be a 17. All right. So right now you feel like you're being pretty quiet. You waited till night to come here to get a good view of the area. And what you see is a, um, the buildings built around a square, like a garden, a court, I guess. And it has three entrances. One on the west side, one on the east side, and one on the north. Give me a perception check. Both of us or just him? Just him. Because you're not going in. No. He goes through... He goes over the gate, through the forest clearing, and he disappears into the forested area. And I mean, that's like their privacy fence. If I can get over the gate, I just want to keep him in sight. That's my whole plan. It's okay. Okay. Keep them in sight. Sweet. We're changing plans right now. Give me yeah. a climbing roll. We are. Athletics? You don't have a climb speed. No. Athletics. All right. Let's see if I can roll my athletics. Boom. Did it roll? You did. I think you crit. Oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, I did crit. I rolled it to 20. Sweet. Nice. <clears throat> over the wall. So you do Ooh. it perfectly. Just up and over the wall. You keep him in sight without mm -hmm. any problems. And I will also be still you get the into the forest clearing as well. I want to stay. You're not going to get to the edge, though, where he goes to get a better vantage point to see what he sees. No, I'm just keeping him in sight. <clears throat> Correct. My plan is to be his backup. I'm the overwatch. All right. So give me a perception check, Mr. Red. Oh, I already did that. It was a 24. 24 is pretty good. So let's say there we go this is where you're starting and with that perception check you're gonna see all of that oh we got two guys by the door or something oh dude this is sweet where are we are we over here yeah i can't click anything are we right there? You are over there. Correct. Okay, we're over here. And I could put your tokens on the board, but we don't really need to, because this is just a recon. Sure. Basically, the better you do, the more of the map's revealed. Okay, I want to uh, take a look at what's over in this direction. Yep, and I'm actually going to give you that, because you rolled so well. Okay. 
So you can see in the dark, there's some torches on the outside that are making everything kind of light it up, lit up. And you see one guard at the main entrance here. Okay. I think or, uh, these are all just uh, chimneys. Yep, those are different chimneys. Okay, I think I want to go in between them, kind of sneak up into there, and then start climbing. I'll look oh, for some you're window. getting really close. All right, give me another stealth check. I didn't think you were going to get that close. <laughs> oh, is that where, not where we're going? I don't know what you're doing. We're not talking right now. Uh, you're that's what, that's what you're doing. Oh, oh shit, uh, I bought... Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> if he moves away from the woods, Perfect. I want to keep him within sight the whole time. So if he's moving out here, I'm going to move to the edge of the woods so I can get a line of sight both this way and this way so I can cover him. So I'm going to come to like right here so I can yep. see both ways. So you can use your inspiration now, Mr. Oh, Red. Oh, yes, or... definitely. <laughs> That's a great idea. Good call. Let's do that. <laughs> there we go. The don't die roll. That's don't die. a <laughs> lot better. Don't die. The, all you were supposed to do is recon. You weren't supposed to like... <laughs> I didn't think you could get that close. I thought you were just going to look for the entrances, but there you go. You did it. I figured He's this is what recon is. You're getting information. You figured right, I guess. So I'm right here. <laughs> and I'm, you did it. I'm keeping an eye on him. I only have to be partially concealed in order to be able to hide because I'm a wood elf in a natural setting, so I can be like really close to the edge and still be pretty much totally stealth. Okay. Let's see, I'll reveal some more then. This um, black spot to the left is roof. Now, the map doesn't have it roofed, so I can't reveal it to you. That's fine. Okay. But that's all roof right there. I have a question. What's this guy doing over here? He's just chilling. He's actually sitting on the bench. He moves over there. Okay. Sits down. I knock an arrow on my bow. I'm going to take aim at him and hold my action so that if the alarm is sprung, he gets an arrow first before anything else happens. Okay. Sounds fair. I'm going <laughs> to... This is just recon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say that. Are they human? Yes. These Sweet. guys are human. Awesome. I want to move over to there. Kind of peek over. You and... can move your character token. Oh, right. I want to kind of get into this area and see if I see anything right. new. You do. You actually see the inner court. So I'll reveal that to you. I can hear my kids. They're not looking up at you. They're not just um, actively perceiving you. No one looks up. Usually, no one looks up. Uh, is the spot that... Uh, oh. Is this area right here? Is that... Uh, That's all any, roofed. Any different in, in, as far as in like height or anything? Yep, it's one layer up. It's a taller ceiling. Okay, Ooh, taller windows. ceiling. Are there windows on it? There are windows. So you could go peek through a window. Oh yeah, I'll... Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. I will. I'll move up to. Just move myself. I'll move up to there, kind of stand on one side, so I'm still kind of hidden from. Can I see him? Um, at this point, you've kind of lost sight of him because he went to the. Well, now you can. Once he got back to the peak of the roof, but give me a perception check because he's still trying to be sneaky. Okay. <laughs> Well, you do see him ama I'm, amazingly. <laughs> I'm going to go up a tree so I can get a better line of sight on him. Give me an athletics check. I love this. 17? You did it. Sweet. Nice. So you'll climb up the tree. Who are you? You're Mr. Blue, right? Yeah, Mr. Blue. I'm going to be like, you know, right around here. Yeah, there you go. Right on target. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna less like go into a win or look into a window and more put my ear up to it first. 
uh, or up against the wall and see if I hear anything inside. Oh, okay. Well, I already revealed it because I figured oh, okay. you just kind of poked your head up and peeked oh. through from above. If I don't like hear I said, anything. It's a taller out. ceiling, but it's a dining room, like a dining area. Hmm. All the places have been set, but there's no um, people there right now. You're not sure why there's so many places set. But this is also not the night you guys are supposed to go hit the house. <laughs> it's just a recon. <laughs> we do it now. <laughs> like, there's two of us, we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Poor Mr. White is just like, huh, wonder what happened to them. They, <laughs> they never, never came, came back. back. <laughs> <laughs> two more rogues are hired to knock off this place. I figure I'm just sitting at the bar getting drunk with the turtle. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys are it's, getting sloshed. Sounds in like fact, give me a constitution roll. Oh, I also need four to walk into a bar. <laughs> uh, let's see. Con. Yeah, you're, you're doing it. You feel pretty good. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can adjust that. There we go. So yes, you are um, getting drunk. Good job. And you're eating more mutton. That's really all they serve here. Mutton for breakfast. Mutton for lunch. Mutton for dinner. Uh, so I'm not going to do too much more, but I am kind of curious what's going on over here. So uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to... Is this... Uh, Climb up and over? Yeah, is this top ceiling? Is this also slanted like this other one? Yes, it's peaked like the other. Okay, one. I'll go on this side so that there's only that one guard that has a chance to see me. But yeah, I'm gonna get uh, right low, and so I don't think he even ha might he might not even have a vantage point to be able to see me since he's kind of on a deck. I take bead on him again okay. and hold my action. So you can go ahead and make a stealth check over the top of. You're killing it, man. Mr. Red climbs oh. up and over with ease, and you can see him as he spreads his um, arms and legs as he's climbing. He kind of looks like a spider as he goes up. Boom, 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 boom. Very quietly. Up and over the roof, and he's gone. He's out of sight mm. to Mr. Blue. Can I move around in the forest? And you can absolutely move around as much as you want and make as much noise as you like. <laughs> I mean... Okay. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. I will move around the front. <laughs> I'll stay in the woods, though. Okay. And attempt to be stealthy. Then you do it. Move your character. Okay. I mean, I figure I move off the map. and I. Oh, you're going back further in, or you're going kind of up to the north, like up here? Yeah, up, up there. Up above there. Up above there, yep. I'm going to go around and stay in the woods, right? And I want to end up okay. over here so I can see him. Do give me a stealth check. Cool. Do, 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 do. Ooh, not as good. Not that good. Luckily, the guy on the porch, he doesn't seem to be really paying attention. Okay. And he's not um, actively watching. He's just, he's actually sat down on the bench, relaxed. He's kicked his feet up on the railing, and that's what he's doing. Okay. Ooh, write that down. Lazy guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move past here and then hop over or kind of climb over to sit kind of like right here. Or okay. actually. Give me I'll, another stealth check. I'll sit right here and then peek over first. Can I see if there's anyone over there? Or do I need to do a stealth check first? Do a stealth check. Stealth so master. Oop, wrong button. Let's try it like this. Okay, two guards over there. So that's what you see couple guards at that entrance on the west, one guard at the north entrance, a guard and a guard dog on the east entrance. Uh, I think there's a dog? Okay. 
What, what does it look like to you? A bear? Know, some kind of blue thing with bleeding eyes. Yeah, that definitely looks like a dog to me. Okay. I mean, admittedly, I'm <laughs> zoomed out a little a bit. Dog. Let me zoom uh, in a little more. I'm at 50%. Uh, oh, okay. Anyway. I mean, uh, the picture oh, yeah, was literally right. grabbed it as a dog. dog. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a Roddy. When you're zoomed out around 27% or so, it starts to look kind of weird. Uh, I am. It's a dog. I'm thinking we've done enough for reconnaissance. Okay. Uh, are there any other there windows? There is um, a peaked roof as well on the south side. Now, yeah. you haven't gone and looked in the windows, so I'll point it out down here. Oh, there's a window down here? There's a window right there. Yeah, you're on your own if you go that far. I can't keep an eye on you. I mean, I'll climb a tree to try to keep you in sight, but... Yeah. He killed the rogue and the cleric brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not like to you. Dogs. Uh, you do know there's no entrance on the southern side, hmm. so you could go do a little recon there, but you can't actually hmm. um easily enter through the southern side, although I'm sure there's enough areas if you can climb that you could get in there. Yeah, it's I'm not... thinking rather than risking hitting going by all three of these guys here. I think I'm going to uh, climb down on kind of this area here. and uh, Jump into that bush there. Yeah, go down onto the tree and get down the ground level and exit out this way. And then you take a long way around to look at the south side. Okay. I'll and I'll uh, probably meet up with you <laughs> as well. Josh. Yeah, I'll follow. That's cool. So you guys did your recon. You'll meet up. You'll get together. Um, explain what you've seen and head back to the bar for the night. I don't think we're going back to the bar. Oh, I was going to. I was going to try to get a peek at the south side. See we're going to head around anything. in the woods. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go a long way around in the woods to the left. So we're going to go like, you know, there's no dogs over here. I think we should go over here and kind of go around in those woods and try to stay out of view of those two dudes. I'm thinking more so uh, like down in this area. Yeah, where we don't sure. even have to deal with those guys if we can take the long way around. I mean, we're going to take the way long way around, but they're still going to have yeah. at some point the chance to detect us, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't want to be close to the manor when we cross the road kind of thing. No, definitely not. Be way out. Okay. As you're walking around, you see a guard walk up that way from the southern side. Okay. Looks like he's kind of doing a patrol. Stay well away from him. Mm -hmm. and it's forested area over here so unless you go through the forest I don't yeah, want to go through the forest you can't see yeah I'm good at going through the forest give me a stealth check both, both of us of damn yep Jeez. I just crit <laughs> 25 so, natural, right. natural 20. so go ahead and move your characters to right around there okay, let me move myself down there boom that's definitely not where you want to be here. no yeah oh, thanks All right. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> i'm right in front of the guards no <laughs> and in fact i don't want to be that close to um to Mr. Red. I'll stay a little bit back, yeah. I'll move you off the map. Okay. I can't see myself. Give me a perception check when you get down here. Okay. Both of you. There's mine, 19. Can you guys, like, not roll <laughs> so high all the time? I mean, these are two of the things that we both do really good. Yeah, that's why I was like, I should probably help with this. Yeah. I'm like, I was made for this, literally. I mean, I can track with survival. So. <laughs> you are doing excellent. You get around, you see that they're doing a patrol around the entirety of this house, this manor. 
Mm -hmm. And there's multiple guards doing a patrol. But for the sake of brevity and to speed things up a little, your recon mission is very successful. So let's go ahead and reveal the rest of the perimeter. You wait till the guards pass. Are those guys stationary or are they moving? They're moving. Okay. So you wait till they pass. You get a good view of the entirety of the perimeter. And there's really not much more to do unless you want to climb up the south side of the building and peek in. Nah, the, the south windows. side seems like it's got too much patrol going on. I don't Yeah, there's something going on on the helpful. south side of the building. Yeah, I'm thinking the south side is the area that we're needing to get into. Okay. So, let's uh, head back to the bar and give them a report. Okay, we head back. Okay, you head back and a little more of the perimeter. That was the wrong button. There we go. Mr. White, they finally come back. Yeah, Mr. White's at the bar and he's trying to lead a chorus. He's having a good old time. He's singing a chorus of what? Oh, he's singing, singing? like, uh, when I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what should I be? And everybody's cheering and clapping. Only well, let's see if they well. are. Give me a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> can I do a performance? All right. Disadvantage? You can How do drunk a performance is he? check. Not that drunk yet. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh, Mr. Uh, White. You know, Mediocre. that's not the worst. And it's enough to get a bunch of drunk patrons really into the spirits and singing as well. That's good. Right. And, yeah, you get everyone starting to sing. In fact, um, someone throws you a gold. Nice. I think you're oh, kind of nice. like a bar. Gotta, you're not. I gotta add that. Yeah, go add your one gold to your character sheet. <laughs> In the meantime, did anyone else want to purchase any other equipment? Uh, so I got a climbing kit. I do want to get... Can we get some flasks of oil? Uh, yeah, you can get some flasks of oil. How about caltrops? Caltrops are fine. Sweet. Um, wait, do I have animal handling? I don't. Um, okay. Ah, where am I going to add stuff? Equipment. So, climbing kit, cow drops. I need something for the dogs. So, what do you guys think? <clears throat> I think that silence spell is going to be the best thing for the dogs. We don't have any way to cover our smell. I don't think. Yeah. It's true. Um, we don't have any way to cover our smell. Maybe we can make something else. I don't know. I'm not that smart. So yeah, I just cow traps and climbing kit. That's all I know. We'll go with that. How smart are you? Ten. Oh, yeah. Cow traps and climbing your, equipment. Your expertise. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> In fact, how smart is everyone here? Uh, uh, I'm at 13 it... for intelligence. What about you, Mr. Red? I've got a 14. Oh, wow. Okay. It's just you're the dumb dumb, Josh. Wow, well, okay. And Mr. Blue. Yep. That's smart. is not my thing. Potion of climbing. I don't see climbing kit. No. Climber's oh, kit. Climbing there kit I just gave you so you had um, Climber's an kit. easier time climbing. Yeah, I added it. All right, if that's all the equipment you guys want to grab, mm -hmm. then we can get started. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I don't really know what I take with me. You'll take yourself. I'll take myself. <laughs> Cool. 
So Joe and Eddie bid you guys a goodbye. The next night is the night you're going to hit this manor. And your job is to get in and out as efficiently as possible, as quick as possible, without making as much of a ruckus as possible. Right. Mr. Brown's going to go with you. Where are you guys going to go? What's your plan? Do you have a plan? I think we should approach at the south side, because that's where we need to actually get in. You said there's no entrance on the south side, though, right? There's no entrance on the south side. Uh, You said there's windows, though? There's windows, but they're up a pretty high ways. Can you all climb well? I could run a rope up. We find an outlet. I've got a plus five for athletics. I can climb okay. We know the turtle can climb. Can they? I mean, he's got a 20 for strength. The turtle can climb. Right, yeah. Yeah. He's built like a tank. Who's the best at sussing out traps? Uh, I have uh, expertise in investigation. I have a plus eight. Okay, so that's so you're the point guy. You're going to be looking for traps on the windows, traps on the doors. And uh, So then you're going to be point man? The window's is over here, or is there another window ever somewhere else? There's windows up here, is what he's saying. Oh, they're, they're up high up. Here? They're high up. Okay. There wouldn't happen See to the, be one over um, here, would there? Over where? Over here. Nope, that's the peaked roof. Okay. If you see, like, I'll point them out. These slats right there? Mm-hmm. Those are windows. Okay. I mean, we also are just spitballing here, but there's only one guy at the north entrance. We can silence him and just, you know jack him up super horribly. Is anybody good at disguise? Uh, I might be. Let me see. What would, it, would it be performance that I would run? Uh, I think there's like this, this guy's kit proficiency. Oh, um, It's a tool. Right. No, I'm uh, yes. kit and thieves tool. Mr. Brown knows how to disguise. Okay, so if we... If we kill that guy at the front entrance, we can dress up in his clothes. Mr. Brown can fix us up so we look like him. And we... so one person. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said we. All right, fair. One person. We can kill three guys on the left, on the west side. Killing three think... guys gets harder. I think we're trying to get in without being noticed, though. Oh, so they can't know that we've been there? I mean, we, it's going to make our thought. exit. Cool. The point is, is if we get noticed going in, we're going to have trouble getting out. So we're trying to make sure that we... Uh... I mean, that's why I think if we're going to go through an entrance, we can jack up the guy in the north entrance pretty easily. There's one of him. Scroll of silence. You... Muff him up real bad, and then use that entrance to get egress to the house. Then we just have to walk around the whole house, though. No, but, but why do we have to muff him up? Can't we just get past him? I mean... We could. I guess. Why would I'm we still liking muff the window him? option. Okay, alright, we'll go to the window. <laughs> To the windows. Mr. To the Mr. Blue obviously wants to kill somebody. <laughs> That's your entire goal of this session? Is to kill someone? Hey, Mr. Blue is a xenophobe that hates all not elves. Especially humans. There would be plenty of time to kill on our way out. Okay. Sweet. I'm thinking... So you guys have major decisions. Mr. Blue is like that sketchy trigger happy guy that you just know is going to pull the trigger at the wrong moment and totally <laughs> blow everything. Oh, great. That sounds good. So you are, um, I forget who it was in Reservoir Dogs, but the guy that just started shooting. Yeah, right. You're the psychopath. Yeah. Well, no, I like to think, but it's like, you know. When you catch the guard, you'll cut his ear off, kind of. I mean, sure. 
<laughs> sure, why not? Wait, exactly. I'm not a psychopath. I just cut off ears. No, I don't think he's an ear taker, <laughs> but he's definitely a human killer. All right, let's go ahead and prepare the battlefield, the battle map. We'll see if it's a battlefield yet. I'm assuming you guys are going to wait till the patrols are not on the southern side of the building. Yep. Do they go all the way around? They do patrol most of the way around. Mm, nice. Back and forth. So you'll have to be quick because um, they patrol up. And then they come back down. They don't go all the way to the north side. Okay. The north side's so really, as they start patrolling. Undefended. Are you still making plans? No, no. I'm just using loud. I'm gonna go in that window, I think, because it's got uh, the, uh, is Mr. the White. chimney right there. There's Mr. White. Here's Mr. Brown. Now you are all here. Okay, so I'll take up the rear. Okay. You guys have to move fast. Yep, I figured. So what uh, are you doing there, Mr. Red? What was that? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go stealthily up there and uh, check the window for a trap. Make sure it's not trapped. All right. Go ahead and... I don't know if there's a role for that to detect traps. We've never used a role. It's investigation. Uh, investigate. Yeah. Go ahead and roll investigation. This is our first rogue Ooh. in the campaign, and you Eleven. all decided to be rogues. Oh, Dude, no. someone should be <laughs> helping you. I got a plus eight, so I, Bro, I rolled a three. Um, you can't tell if it's trapped at a glance. Okay. I'm going to... It looks quick, like, like it's probably locked. Okay, I'm going to check this one to see if this one is trapped as well. So you're going to go back down. As you do, you know that on the other side, the guards have started their southern patrol. Okay. They're starting to come back down. I'm going to check this one for traps, and then I'm going to come back, go back into the woods. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to assume that we're all in the woods. Not standing so you're right gonna there. climb back. Are you gonna climb sideways, or are you gonna go all the way down and climb up? Uh, I'll just climb sideways since I have a climb speed. It's fast to climb than going down. There's one spot up. you're gonna have to roll on athletics, just to jump up and around and outcropping on the wall. Oh, I can just go around the outcropping. Can you I? climb like a spider? Yeah, he literally yeah. sticks to surfaces like gum. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you did it. Um, give me an investigation check on this one. As far as you can tell, it's probably not trapped. You're not really sure. Okay. It is also locked. Okay. I'm going to go back to where they're hiding out and uh, assume we're going into the woods a little bit. I just want to give them a heads up that it's Locked, but it's not. Doesn't look like it's trapped. Okay. So that's what you see when oh, you peek nice. through the windows. Cool. Bedrooms. Bedroom. Was somebody in the bed? I didn't see anybody inside there, did I? You did not really look. Okay. And you guys all go back into the woods, so the patrol goes down, and then they go back north again. However, on this time, one of the guards decides to stay down in this area. Move you into the woods. This guy goes back north patrolling again. But the guard on the eastern side stays. The south east. Does he have straight up like line of sight on us? Unobstructed if we come out of the woods? If you come out of the woods, he would have line of sight on you. It is dark. There's no torches here. You're not 100% sure if he'll be able to see you or not. But he's kind of just chilling right there. These guys are all humans? They're all humans. So he should not be able to see us. 
Josh is 60 feet away. But I if mean, we get I within can... range, you might. I can take him from here. No, we don't. We don't. I draw my arrow. I notch, a, I notch an arrow. <laughs> I, I, I put my hand on your shoulder and say, we don't need to draw any kind of unwanted attention right now. Listen, what's the range on silence? That's a good question. Are you asking me? Uh, I'll check it out. Quickly look it up. That's 5e silence. So you all have the scrolls and y'all have Google. <laughs> silence. 120 uh, feet. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I don't so have a problem if you want to try to snipe that guy and pull him into the woods while we have the people, uh, the other guards on the north side. Mr. White might be right, though. They might notice that he's missing, so this is what I think we should do. I'm gonna well, he goes around the... to the east side as well, so if he's not there, they're going to be like, oh, he's patrolling the east side. They'll eventually suspect him or expect him to be coming around, and when he doesn't, they're going to be in high alert. This is what we'll do. You guys go for the window. I got to beat on him. Be fast before that other guy comes back. If he sees you, somebody use the scroll, and I'll put some holes in him. Sounds good to me. Okay, yeah, that's I ready my actions so that if he looks alarmed, I give him another body hole. Okay. I'm going to uh, climb up here, kind of walk across this area here, and uh, climb up and then go around the corner to go into the window. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is look in the window to see... If there's actually anyone in there at the moment. That is not a window. Oh, that's not a window? Right there? Oh, that's a window. That's what he's yeah. doing. He's, he's crawling up over here, and then he's crawling around the corner to the window. Look at that window. That's the one you already looked in. That's why you can see all what you can see. Yep, I just want to see if there's anyone in there. And oh, okay, you're going to look again. Yep, just see if anyone. Like you already did that. All right, give me one second. There's somebody in the bed. That's what I don't want to do is trip over someone in the bed and be like, oh shit. It's a sleeping beholder. <laughs> so you go back to here. You're kind of hanging upside down. You're looking through the window. I don't remember. I and roll perception. Like, like a boss. <laughs> Right? Oh, shit. You see someone in the bed. Holy shit, it's Burt Reynolds. They're sleeping. Get the fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Burt Reynolds. <laughs> abort, abort. Okay, someone You're so happened. screwed now. <laughs> He's going to go uh, make the PI on you. Can I tell if there's a wall? Does it look like that's a wall right there? Are you sleeping against? Yeah, you would think that the head of the bed is against a wall. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to tell from this. Yeah, I, I'm assuming honestly, I would see like a wall You only see Burt Reynolds' feet. So, you don't see his face. But there's a bed right here, but he's sleeping over here? Yeah. There's another bed over here. Oh. There's like four beds in this area. Oh. And the way this um, window is looking, there's actually a partition that you're looking over. Mm. That's like a partition. A privacy screen or something. Yeah. So I'm like, hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, I'm going to climb back around and climb to this window and look in this window. Oh my god, hurry up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going over here? Yeah. I want to see what's in that window. Okay. Hey, Ryan, how's our guard friend doing right now? Which one? The one, the one that's oh, he's just chilling. One. This one, I want to keep an eye on this guy over here. Okay. He's starting to make a southern patrol again. You need to hurry now. You need to go now. Yeah, I'm going to do quick perception. Okay. Come down. That's it. Okay. Roll your perception. Wow, same thing. 
like a boss. I didn't see anyone in there. See if I can make this work. Ooh, I'm gonna th nice. I'm gonna throw a pebble at him. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll come, come on, down dude. now. Roll a hit. Okay. <laughs> pebble. I don't know how do I throw with the pebble. You use your strength. Uh oh, it's not oh, dexterity. No. That's horrible. Strength. No, it's not dexterity. You pick up a little pebble and you chuck it at. Am I proficient with pebble? No. <laughs> wow! I rolled a seventeen with a minus one. That's amazing. <laughs> you do a good job. You ding him right in the noggin. I'm like, we have to come back at the now. It's guys coming. Okay, I come down. All right. So you go back down. He does his patrol again, and this time he ends up uh, all the way around, hanging out with the other guard. Okay. Now they're just chatting. Crap. Uh, so bad news. I saw two guards in the bed, or three guards in the bed, on the left side, and uh, there's a guy in the bed in the middle. Wait, the window. three guards are in a bed together? No, oh, there's sorry. three beds, three guards. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Uh, so I'm thinking we actually want the southeast side, which is unfortunately where everybody is hunkered up. Look, why don't we just go in this window right here? Did you see anybody in that window? Uh, I did not, but that is really close to them. Yes, oh, we're just, so we do what we do. We be quiet. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna. I think that's the best bet because it doesn't look like there's anything over on the okay. left side there. All right. Yeah, let's just go in right here. We'll be quiet. We'll be hidden by the chimney. We'll go in the window. It's good. Okay. I'll cover you guys while you make for that window. Don't get spotted. Maybe come over here and hug the wall. You come around. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, down me right now. I'm going to come up to here, climb up, and then get over here and be obscured by the uh, chimney when I come down to go into this window. What if I can create? So a... you're going up and down. Yep. Okay. What if I can create? You're a... first, then I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm definitely first because I have to unlock the window. Okay. What did you say there, Mr. White? Uh, what if, what if I could create a, a, a small distraction for those two guards? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, if they get distracted by a, a raccoon or something. What? What I'm trying to say is I can, I can use a little minor illusion. I'd say do that if it looks like uh, something is going on, like if. One of them gets suspicious, then maybe like if they hear something, then make a raccoon so that, you know. I mean, if they hear something, I notch an arrow and pull back my string and I sight down it. That's yeah, the there's two one. of them, so. Well, I got one. Gotta be a little careful. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to here. Yeah, go ahead. You climb up again. So close yep. to Reynolds. You climb up the wall silently. Go up. Burt Reynolds up. does not hear you. <laughs> and then come down over here. And you end up by the window again. Okay, and now I'm actually... Now you can climb with ease, but you know none of your friends can. Yep, I plan on dropping a, a rope when I get over here. Okay. So you... Dangle the rope down after you... Well, actually, the window's locked. What are you going to tie the rope to? Uh, first, I'm going to unlock the window. All right. Go ahead and give me a dexterity check with your... Are you proficient with thieves' tools? I am. We all are. We can't help it. It just happens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just can't help it. I mean, if you're a rogue, that's the thing. You get proficient with thieves' tools. You can have expertise like I do. But not everybody does, probably. Okay. So go ahead and roll. 20. That's a deck save. Oops. Oh, that's a save. Not, uh... I think you just click. Oh! oh. Fuck. <laughs> you stick your lockpick in. No you wiggle it around. Snap. And it snaps. Dink. Let's hmm. see if they hear you. Does, yeah, if that guy looks curious, it's time. We're going in hard. 
Ah, fuck. All right. So the guard turns around. They stop talking. Uh, yeah, he rolled a natural 20, by the way. My action was ready. So as soon as he looks curious, guess what happens? I'm planning. He looks curious. Boom! <laughs> I have advantage. Easy, Mr. Blue. Easy, Mr. Blue. It's, it's happened. It happened. Here. Roll your initiative. <laughs> yeah. He sees us? Actually, let me... Um, He's going to see you. you all a turn. Did, did he see... No, he just looked curious. He heard something. Right. I put a mi minor illusion. Let's see. Go ahead and roll your initiative. I'm trying to. Where do you... Um, if it doesn't work in the D&D &D Beyond, just roll a d20. Okay. I just uh, clicked But nice Bassarat roll. made it work. He got an 8. D20. I got a 5 plus my dexterity. So I got a 9. 9. The guards will roll theirs. Surprise, motherfuckers. Okay, they're pretty slow. Aw, oh, that's sad for them. Actually, they might have a little bonus. Let's go and check. Yep, they get a one bonus, so... Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor guys. What about Mr. White? What'd you roll? Uh, it's up there. It's a 14. Oh, weird. It added um, everyone else's automatically. He's all the way at the bottom. Yeah, mine's an 8. Oh, who's the 16? Mr. Brown. Mr. Mr. Brown. Mr. Red isn't uh, even on there. Really? Well, let's fix that. What did you roll, Mr. Red? Uh, I got an 8. All right. There we go. So starting with Mr. Brown, he holds his action. He's not going to okay. do anything because he's all up close. And that guard did not get a 16. No, thank God. I don't know why he's in there like that. Because he thought he was the man for a minute. Mr. White. What did Mr. Brown do? Mr. Brown held. Okay. Uh, if I move to right there, would they see me? Yes. Well, if if they can see that far in the dark. Well, okay, so five, ten. You're assuming they can't see in the dark. They each have a torch, and when they walk around, they shed um, dim light for 20. and No, bright light for 20 and dim light for 40. So that would be where I'm at. Well, let's just measure it. I'm 60 feet away, right? Right there. So they can see. Can me. you see that? Did you see that on the map? Yep. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to get down on my, I'm going to like military crawl. See if I can do it. Like. Where are you going to go? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm military crawling right here. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm casting Minor Illusion. And I'm going to place a raccoon right here. Uh, okay. Looking like it's <laughs> like scuttling about. You can't make it Is move. Is there a save on this spell? Minor Illusion? Well, you can't make it move because it's trip. It's good for noises. Minor Illusion. Or pebbles or something over you here. You can create a sound or an image within range, so 30 feet. Okay. Uh, and investigation uh, against his spell save DC. Right. It, the image cannot create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. Physical interaction reveals it to be an illusion. They can use their action to examine it. And then if they figure it out, they'd see that it's an illusion and that the uh, the outline would become faint to them. So if you do that and they try to smack it or something, then they'll know. Right away. But you can make a noise like over here to distract them. Yeah, okay. So I'll take that advice. Uh, I'll make a noise right where Josh's ping was. 
like okay. just like off into the woods. Yeah, crunching. Cool. He turns around. You hear him go. Did you hear that? What? One second. I'll be right back. So he starts trailing off as it's not actually his turn. What are you doing, Mr. Blue? Is he going to end up in the woods? Uh, you're not sure how far he's going to go. You're actually first. He seems like he turned around and is interested in this noise. You hear some chittering in the woods. I don't know what a, a raccoon sounds like. I think they hiss. I don't know. I can't make the noise, so let's just pretend like it's a raccoon noise. I don't even know if Mr. White knows what they sound like. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you hear. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? is that a dying gnome? <laughs> it sounds like Peter Griffin from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a good Peter Griffin. So I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk over here, right here, and I'm gonna keep aim on the guy that's gonna walk into the woods. I'll hold my action so that if he loses line of sight from the other guy, I ventilate him. Okay. But I want to stay hidden and wait to sure. see if he, if the other guy can't see him. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I understand what you're saying. So that's what you do. Yep. You move and hold. Go ahead, Mr. Red. Uh, I am going to go back on top Your of lock the roof. lockpick is jammed. So to try to pick the lock again, you're going to have to remove it. You have more. I heard the guard, though, right? Yeah, you heard him, and now you can actually see him. He's... um. Getting closer to there. Okay, I'm going to go around over here. Behind the chimney to block line of sight so he can't see me. Okay. On top of the roof. And then are you going to do anything else? Uh, action? Well, hide. Hide. Go ahead and roll a stealth. Yeah, you duck down behind the chimney. You're fine. As long as no one's looking directly at you, you'll probably be okay. okay. You're now kind of on the peaked roof up there. Um, if they did look up and you were on the slant of the peak roof, this is the lower slant. You'd be like directly in line of sight, right? Uh, that's why I was kind of thinking I was more behind the chimney. Yep, I understand. Okay. And they go. So the guard, he ends up down here trying to figure something out. He's kicking around in the brushes. He sounds like he moves a rock off in the area. You can see him really well there, Mr. Blue. This guy kind of moves over. What'd you see there? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't think it was anything. Anyways, I'm going back on patrol. See you in a bit. Right, have a good day. And he uh, comes back this way. He just got so close to death. <laughs> um, when you military crawled there, Mr. White, kind of out of the brush, mm -hmm. give me a stealth that you never gave me. Sorry, this. You can do it. I know you can. Take a little breath. To navigate. You think you're having trouble? I gotta go through like five different pages. How about a twenty-two? How about a twenty-two? He walks right by you and doesn't notice you and goes off on his patrol. Uh, you were very out in the open, though. If he was actually looking, perceiving, you'd have been done for... I want to come back over here. Okay. This guard, he leans up against the uh, brick wall here and kind of just chills. Okay, so he doesn't look like he's really paying a lot of attention, right? Mm -mm. I'm going to come over here. 
Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come around the wall over to here. Give me a stealth check. Yep. While he's doing that, I'm going to move to the window again. Like, we got to get inside, guys. Real bad. Mm-hmm. Mm, 15. 15? You feel like you did a decent enough job. Okay. Why doesn't everyone give me a stealth check? Ooh, Mr. Brown, cutting it kind of close. So as a group, you hear his uh, shell kind of scrape against the wall ever so slightly. But you bunch up over here, and it doesn't look like the guard turns around. I go up the wall of the window so that I can uh, try to pick the window lock and rectify Mr. Red's mistake. Do you want to help oh, me? I'm starting to climb. How high up is the window? Did you actually dangle the rope yet? I don't think you did. Didn't. Not yet. I have to fix it to something. I'm going to stem using oh. the chimney in the side of the Try to go in that corner. Uh, can I try to use my scroll of stealth and then try to pick the lock one more time? Your silence? Oh, uh, yeah. Silence. That. Just wait until I get there. Uh, give me an athletics check, Mr. Blue. All right. Let's wait until I get there. Futuv! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you start climbing up and you start sliding down as you're climbing up. You're grabbing onto whatever handholds you have and you can hear the scraping of some of your armor scraping against the brick wall oh, that shit. you're trying to climb up this chimney on. Sorry, guys. And thud, you hit the ground. And again, you see this guard over here. Huh? He starts moving over. Oh, no. Make with the raccoon noise quick. <laughs> Roll your initiative. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's All right. That was a stealth. Roll a d20. So I got a... What do I got? Mr. Brown, Ryan. Oh, mine Ooh. didn't roll for some reason. Guess who got a natural 20? Oh, I got a I got a four plus four is eight. I got an eight. What'd you get, Bassarat? I mean, Mister Red. Oh, did it? Uh, I got a twelve. Dad. Josh, you got an eight. And this guy. Wow, he's stuck on five. He'll just hang out there. On five. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead, Mr. White. Uh, I'm gonna do another <laughs> raccoon sound, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> he he rounds the corner and he sees you guys. You're right there. Okay. Oh, he he's surprised, us. right? Uh, yeah, he sees you. He's surprised. No one's surprised. Oh, he's not surprised. Uh, no, he is actively looking for you. Oh, okay. Well. I guess I go up and I stab him two times. All right. You go up and you stab him quickly. Thank you. Roll a stab. Well, do you, I think you only get one stab, if I'm not mistaken. So, can I... All right. He can, can, I like, he can offhand stab for another okay, chance so to sneak move, attack, with, but it's just a D4. My, my, first, my first bit of movement, can I, like... like not? Like, I don't know. Is this going to be a grapple, like, where I... If I like quick turn around him, cover his mouth, and then stab him in the neck. <laughs> so you want to grapple him to kind of cover his mouth. That would be one attack action. You could offhand stab him. You know what, dudes? I think it's Maybe. time for a scroll of silence. All right, do it. Yeah. All right. I'm using my right. scroll of silence on him. So you move to the other side of him and you use your scroll of silence. After you, Mr. Brown comes over, and he's going to stab him. That's what he does well. So let's go ahead and roll that. Uh, no, why did it roll twice? Well, he gets to the first one was a 13. 
We rolled once for Ryan, once for Mr. Brown. That's what happened. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. I don't understand that. I'm going to go with the first roll. A 13 misses. He glances off his armor, so he'll try to offhand stab him. You can't hear anything. It's kind of a uh, surreal as he's stabbing at this guy. You know metal's clanging off metal, but there's no sound. All right. Second time, he actually does land a solid hit. And we'll do some damage. Nice. Holy shit. Way to go, Mr. Brown. 26 damage. You guys do a lot of damage, don't you? <laughs> no idea. Yep. <laughs> I've never tried a rogue, so. Yeah, it's pretty That would solid. be 26 damage to this guard. Oh. Oh, what's O? O is, um. Oh. That, that's O. Oh, yeah. 26 damage is enough. These guys are squishy. Huh. He just slits his throat while you um, get behind him. You're ready to grab his mouth, Mr. White. You use the scroll of silence and dead. All right. Okay. Well, that was a quick combat. I'm going to grab his body and drag it into the woods. And can I use survival to cover up the tracks and stuff like that? Yes. Go ahead and roll me a survival check. Cool. Uh, uh. 25 25 is enough um you cover up the tracks you make sure there's no footprints you kind of throw some dirt over the blood marks and some of the blood marks that are on the side of the chimney wall right there they're not coming off so easily so you throw some dirt over it, it kind of sticks to the fresh blood sure and you move back we're on a timetable now boys we gotta move I'm going to try I to. I feel like you hit him pretty well, but now there's one missing guard. Yep, we gotta hurry. We're gonna figure it out sooner or later. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pick the lock on the window again. All right, so you forcefully pull out the um, pick that you broke in there. You grab another pick and roll me a thieves tool roll. Oh, come on, Alex. Ah, oh, we are having troubles picking it. Right oh, now. it is the. Uh, I did not get my uh, bonus. Because I so am proficient with that's a 12. So a total of 12 is not enough to pick a lock. I'm going to try to climb up there again so I can help him. Can I try to athletics on some more? You're going to try to parkour up? Yeah. And there we go. Oh, I rolled twice. 25. Yeah, you rolled twice too this time. 25 is the first one. 25 is the one we're going to use. So you get up there, natural 20. Yep. You shimmy your way up in between the, uh, you're bracing your feet off each corner as you climb up and you grab the window ledge and pull yourself up. You're half balancing on the ledge and propping yourself up on the uh, chimney wall. Okay, now I'm just going to look at uh, Mr. Red and say, okay, now listen, this is where you're going to help me do it, all right? So give me the help action. Okay, so it roll with advantage. Actually, you don't say anything. I don't say anything? Nope. It's silent here. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully you help me. I roll. Oh, I oh, don't yeah. know how to roll oh. these tools. I've just been doing dexterity. Although, if you have something that's dex based, like I have stealth, I suppose I could roll a stealth. Would be the I'm same. gonna. Oh yeah, my stealth will be the same. I will roll stealth twice. Pretty stealth and stealth. Why are oh. you rolling it twice? Because of advantage? Yeah, because advantage. four times. That's weird. For some reason now it's rolling everything twice. So 25, I guess. Because 25 and 15 are my first two rolls. Oh, that's athletics. 25 is enough. Oh, it's athletics? Uh, that's you're actually 19. Whoops. The athletics was to get up there. We already counted that. It's the oh, right. 19. Still 11 and 19. No, 19, sorry. I didn't roll. I rolled twice. 19. 19 is not enough. Oh, uh, really? You're picking as well as you can. So I look down at Mr. White. I tell him, if the other guard comes, you got to take care of quick, get to the corner of the building. I try again. 
And you guys see, as you're watching over in that area, the guard is coming back down for a southern patrol. Uh, so there's my second two thieves tools. I got a 26 and 18. 22 is 26. enough. My cat's freaking out. Okay, cat. You're good. <laughs> 22 is enough. 26. You pick the lock and swing the window open and you can go through. But the other two people have not climbed up and you guys see this guard is on his way back. Okay. I'm going to shoo them one. off to have him come back after he goes and makes a round again. Yeah, so and, we'll go in. I'll quietly close the window so it looks like it's still the way it was when we got in. Yeah, and I'm going to okay. actively look for a, a a spot that I can tie off a rope whenever I get a second. What are you doing, Mr. White? Uh, so I'm going to climb up. You can see the guard. He's on his way back. Oh, crap. He's going for it. Uh, Mr. Brown has ran off into the woods. <laughs> Mr. Brown ran off into the woods, correct. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna tuck back with Mr. Brown. Okay, so you run off into the woods. He does his patrol. He actually lingers around here for a little longer than you'd want. About uh, is silence two minutes. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, silence spell. That is true. Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. How long was the last? Is there a concentration component to it? I think there is. Uh, yeah, it's concentration up to 10 minutes. Do you want to concentrate on it? Yeah. No, no, stop now. What are you doing? Oh, no. I'll drop it. He's going to notice. It. Yeah, I'll drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking yeah. his feet and it doesn't make a noise. It's well, like, oh, what the heck? I was thinking it might just take him down, but. Well, you, could, you do you, man. What do you want to do? No, I'll let him. I'll let him go. It's just one okay, guard. He go. might be just pissing around. And after a couple minutes, he's going to head off to the east. Oh, shit. Can I do see Johnny? No. Johnny's in the uh, basement. Okay. I better go look. Yeah, we got to go now. Okay. What do and I... you guys can um go back to the window and try to make your way in. Right. That's what I'll do. do I see anything to tie off the rope to that's heavy? Not going to make yes, it Yes. Um... There's a latch on the window on the inside, a big iron clasp that's drilled straight into the wood. Okay, I'll drop a rope. You can tie the rope to that. It's dark in here. None of the uh, torches or candles are lit in this room. I take a minute to check the room out. Is there anybody in here? There's no one in here. That's good. Are there any doors? There's a door right here. I go okay. listen at the door. Oh yeah, let me reveal a little more of the map for you. There you go. You go and listen to the door and you can hear... Well, give me a perception check. Okay. Let's see what you hear. Let's see what I hear. Yeah, I'm going to go silent for just a second. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, you hear nothing. Wait, I'm going to do it again with my whatchamacallit. Inspiration? Yeah, <laughs> I do it. Okay. That's much, much better. better. You actually hear shallow breathing um, coming in the hallway pretty close to you. Oh, shit. Um, is there, like, furniture in there I can hide behind? You take a listen, and it doesn't sound like they're moving. They're just standing there breathing. Oh, okay. In fact, you get right next to the door. It sounds like they're almost on the direct opposite side of the door, maybe against the wall. Is the breathing like sleep breathing, like regular and slow, or is it like... Nope, it's like normal. Okay. All right, I'm going to come back over here and tell you guys what I've learned. There's someone on the other side of the door. You don't have to whisper. Okay, so I'd, I quote-unquote whisper, there's someone on the other side of the door uh, up against the wall. Okay. I'm uh, helping them climb up before we do anything too much more. Oh, yeah, they make it up. With the rope, um, you dangle the rope down. Everyone gets up just fine. Okay. You close the window back. Really? Uh, can I use, like, hand signals or something to communicate that I want to uh, use a scroll of uh, silence 
on the opposite side of the door, and then we open the door and we just can't take him out, pull him into the room, yeah, put him in the bed. Quietly. You don't have to use hand signals, you just say it quietly. Okay. I'm okay. thinking we should put him in the bed afterwards, just so that uh doesn't look obviously suspicious. I mean, he's probably a guard. If he's in the bed instead of at his post, it's going to be suspicious, but we can do whatever we got to do. I am yeah. all for ganking. Okay. So I will uh, move up to here and then kind of use a scroll of silence right there. Okay. And you then, use the scroll of silence, and uh, what's it, everyone else doing while he does this? I get ready to shoot out the open door when someone opens it. Like, I'll get, okay. like, which way does the door open? Does it open on this side? Or does it open on this side? Oh, like, does it open in or out? Or Yeah, like, does it swing? Yeah. What it opens inwards towards Mr. Red. Okay, so I'm going to go right over here with him, and I motion Mr. White to open the door. Is that what you're doing, Mr. White? It opens inwards towards Mr. Red, just like that. So I'm just going to lean into where Mr. Red is and take the shot as soon as the door opens. You're not listening. <laughs> oh, it yeah. opens towards him like... You want to be there. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's where I want to be then. I want to be there over there. So I'll open... <laughs> this is the door right here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll open it up and I'll back up into Mr. Blue. Hey, you can't be right there. You can go right there. All right. I lean out and shoot him. Alright. You open the door. Door opens. You do see a guard standing against the wall back there. Roll the hit. Roll the hit. Okay. Uh, do I have advantage? Oh, this is bad. Uh, no. You don't get advantage when you surprise someone, I don't think. Uh, what if I was hiding before they open the door? Let's look up surprise. I think if you're hiding, you get uh, advantage. Is that uh, how it normally works? Um, if you're hiding, see. they have advantage because they can't see you. So it's a te technically they're blinded towards you. Clarification. So there is a torch in the hallway that's uh, lit. And once you open the door, he definitely sees. Um, okay, so your opponent either doesn't know you're there, doesn't or doesn't doesn't what know exactly where you're located um you will not get advantage okay well i shoot him ah, whatever i uh, do i shoot him yeah i shoot him i attempt to shoot him he is surprised, though. He'll spend his round if it goes longer than this to clear surprise. Okay, let's see. Actions. Longbow. Ba-doomp. Ouch. Six. That was horrible. Oh, because I'm power oh. attacked. That's why. I have set up to power attack. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. If you weren't power attacked, an 11 is still not enough. That's okay. So it actually just plugs the wall right behind him burning but it makes no noise he clears surprise i shoot him again well everyone else can go okay we do we'll all get a turn before he goes eh, if you don't kill him this round we'll do initiative yeah i okay. can kill him this round what is everyone else doing i uh, plan on using you already did the um scroll. The scroll okay uh i guess i'll step right here and i'll plug him with my short bow. Short bow? All right. Hold a hit. Man, you guys are not doing this today. Oof. You also launch another bolt straight into the wall behind him. Mr. Brown's going to at least try to get in an attack. He charges in, barrels right past you. His shell kind of pushes against both of you. I don't know why it rolls twice. Either way, the first one is a 20. It'll hit him. 
And yeah, Mr. Brown will cover for you guys. Don't worry, he's got hey, this. Hey, Ryan, can you look up what that short sort of warning does? I have no idea what it does. This is Brian's item. It, it, it makes it so we can't be surprised. Why do you have danger? We can never be surprised. As long as we're you have advantage on initiative. In addition, you and your companions within thirty feet can't be surprised. Yeah. It's kind of cool. He takes out the guard and slowly drags the guard back into the room. Wait. Uh, I'll shut the door. Is there blood everywhere? <laughs> Not everywhere, but it's kind of like the last scene. I cover it up. bolt stuck in the wall. I put my arrow out of the wall. Uh, yep. You pull your arrow out. You still have time because it's quiet. Well, since yeah. we... Can we see what's going on over here then? Yes. Good question. That's what you see so far. Uh, I'll take, take take my arrow. Uh... So, fellas, we can use this armor as disguise. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, my blue face, no one's going to know. All right. Or everyone's well, going to know it's me. So, I'm going to go over here and... Actually, is that a is that a corner or is that a wall? It's a corner. Okay. This is a window right here. You can see out into the courtyard. The two braziers in the back right here. Um, so right here and right here. I don't see anything. Well, scroll up on your map. Oh, yeah. Okay. In the courtyard. Yeah, yeah. They're shedding bright light across the entirety of the courtyard. I'm going to peek around this corner here. It's over there. All right. See more area around here. You guys want to go together, split up? Uh, we should go together. together. Yeah. Once I see that, I'll motion them towards me. Is it bright all over the place in here? Is this all lit up? Uh, yeah, most of it's lit up. The torches are lit. Ugh. And there's only one more door over here? Or is there one here, too? Can't tell. Not from this angle. Okay. I'll move up to here and kind of peek around this corner and see what's over there. I'm covering him. Okay. Few doors. Four doors, in fact. Can I peek around in the corner and see what's over here? While he's doing that, I'm going to move up over this way. Stairwell going down. Goes outside, probably. Right? Because is, is this where there's a stairwell that exits over here? Yeah, that's what I would assume it is. Am I right in that, Ryan? We were outside. Did we see a doorway right here? You remember a door out there, sure. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know. You're kind of dumb. Maybe there's a door out there? I got you. I don't know. <laughs> he remembers a door out there. I'm playing uh, the leader. These are three doors? Four doors. Four doors? Oh, there's one over here, too. Yep. I'm going to get in this corner and uh, listen right here. Kind of just see if I hear anything in that area on either side of the doors you do not hear anything so these guys back here they were asleep uh they look like it I believe they were in their beds is there a door right there probably there was a door right there hmm I'm thinking about going back and killing all of them <sighs> just watch the hallway and <laughs> it'll be good okay, if they start to come this way then you can kill them there where it's silent. 
I mean, sure, it's just I'm a lot better at killing them while they're sleeping. Let's be real. It's always, it's always easy to kill while they're sleeping. Yeah. Right. That's I mean, if saying. you guys want to, I'm I'm going to check this place for traps, all four doors, you know, look over for traps. Cool. Okay, so we'll extend the duration of this um, heist. Because you'll have to check them for traps, and then each one's an action. It's not that long, but you did already remove two people from play. Mm -hmm. I motioned Mr. Brown to come with me. Okay, Mr. Brown comes with you, because why not? We have things to do, Mr. Brown. Do you, you and Mr. Brown still have your silent scroll? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that one guy there that's still sleeping, I think it might be a good idea. But so, yeah. before we get too far... Yeah. Um. Oh, there, Mr. White's coming, too. Looks like... <laughs> <laughs> Gang squad time. <laughs> it's gonna be like that uh, scene in Lord of the Rings when the ring race were above the bed, except there's gonna actually be people in the bed. Wait, what's sleeping? The scene? When the ring rays were gonna stab the people. Oh yeah, Lord of the Rings yeah. in the beds. Yeah. I just want to say right now that we are the worst group ever for a hike. Mm -hmm. Why? What do you mean why? Why? <laughs> say that. <laughs> no, Mr. Brown doesn't say anything. He doesn't talk. Mr. Brown's mute. He's like silent, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> you want uh, four investigation checks for the doors? Uh, no, you take your time and none of them are trapped. Okay. All right. I silence and then I open the door. Okay. So you're going to use your action to silence yep. in a 20-foot radius sphere, which will hit this whole room, and then you go to open the door. You open the door. Uh, cool. When you open the door, this guy down here is awake. The other two are sleeping. I step by the way. So your action was to silence. Go ahead and roll your initiative. Go ahead and roll initiative. Two, three. Uh, initiative is just the dexterity roll, right? Yeah, let me add you all a turn. Okay, so there we go. I roll a 16. Oh. 16. Do I have a new No, I don't have We've used up uh, our no, awesomeness. No, you don't, but Mr. Brown does. No, oh, good thing he has initiative, so let's try once more. There we go. You keep rolling two. One for you and one for him. Yeah. So keep rolling two. Mm -hmm. And I rolled a one. And I, I have plus I don't know why five. it does that. I don't know either. Are you double clicking? I'll go with... No. Weird. Because it does one for me. I think it's because it's not my character, maybe. Oh, sure. Because I'm the DM. I don't know. Oh, you know why? I'm probably logged in twice to roll 20. Oh... Uh... Because I have one for player view, one for DM view. Oh. So with his advantage, he'll get that 17. And this guy over here. And I have a 5, not a 10. Well, that guy's pretty good. Yeah, he's not doing so bad. He was awake and ready. But Reynolds snoring has kept him awake all night. He's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you have, 10? Think that awesome mustache would like muffle his snore. I think it just amplifies it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Brown runs in. Do it, Mr. Brown. Yeah. He's going to jack this guard. Oh, yeah. We'll just roll a d20. He is going to miss. Oh, no. Can he go again? Off. I think he can roll with his offhand. Wow, Mr. Brown, you failed. So, yeah, once with a short sword, once with a dagger, and he misses both strikes. Looks like it's uh, this guard, he's actually in his armor. He was kind of cleaning some of it. Mm. So that was his turn. Who's next? Um, The guard. Oh, he's going to... Wait, me and the guard tied, didn't we? 
Uh, he can, oh, yeah. He can go first. Roll D20. Roll D20, okay. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Um, I shoot him. Yeah, that's what you do. Let's see so if let's I can it. hit him. Pachoomp. 16. 16 is enough. You hit him. He takes 40. He's next to um, your friend. He takes 40 damage. Pow. Oh, it already did the damage. Holy crap. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that guy. He didn't even have a chance to act. Surprise, mother, father. Pow. And these guys did not wake up when the big giant turtle came storming past them. I just take my time and shoot him in bed. So you want to take your time? If you want, I'll auto. I'll roll it, but I think I auto crit and advantage. All right. Yeah. Okay. You do it. Okay. Then I go back to finish Burt Reynolds. You're gonna kill Burt Reynolds too? <laughs> yes, I am. Come on, man. <laughs> Sorry for Reynolds, it's time. The door's locked. Ah, uh, whatever. I, I open it. <laughs> roll your <laughs> lock picking. Okay, I don't know how to roll these tools, but I'm going to roll Elf and Sex. Same exact roll. 14. That's not enough. Hey, help it's me out. It's a simple out. lock, and you still oh, didn't manage oh, to break give, open the give lock. Give me advantage, will you? I'll help. Okay, boom. Boom. All right, so you get 22. in the door, mm -hmm. and you jack the butler, Mr. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> That's all he is, is a poor butler. Not anymore, he's not. And now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I run in. You guys are awful. And I, and I search for any yeah, go... Can I roll an investigation? Yep, you can roll an investigation. I'll go back and search the guards real quick. Okay, Marla. they have their armors. Some of them are stacked against the wall. Oh, uh, I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven. You don't find anything in Burt Reynolds' room. How about the guards? The guards? I mean, you find a total of... I don't know. Here. 111 gold total. Nice. I split it with Mr. Brown. Good job, Great. Mr. Brown. Hey, can I... <laughs> I have an idea. I think Burt Reynolds might be keeping something rectally. <laughs> Uh, you do you. No. About to mute you. No. <laughs> Sorry. I give Mr. Brown 50 gold. I take 61. Okay. Good job, Mr. Brown. I'll add it to his character sheet. He did awesome. Yeah, he did. Not really. Whatever. He just stood there and let you kill everyone. <laughs> Come back over here and join Mr. Blue. I tell him we'll have no problems from the guards in that room or from the guy with the amazing mustache. <laughs> <laughs> While you're doing that, over on this side, you have Shut the doors. Mr. Red checking all the doors. None of them are trapped. Okay. Um, none of them are locked. None of them are locked. None of them are locked. Uh, I'm going to listen to this door. And uh, if I don't hear anything, I'm going to open it and peek inside. All right, you peek inside. Hmm. Storage? looks like yeah they're keeping boats in there somehow i don't even know how they got it in there don't ask me maybe they're uh pushing okay. through a window i'm gonna open that door peek inside More boats there's so many <laughs> <More> boats, boats. <laughs> why are there so many boats i'll do this door next I really don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. There's boats everywhere. <laughs> Look, this door is the money door right here. This door we need. Okay. Come... Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? Yeah, I... Mr. Brown, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop whatever you're doing. Come over here. He was pillaging. Okay. Uh, who has a scroll left? In case this gets messy. Uh, Not that anyone's going to hear, but... Should, yeah, whatever. I open the door. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Brown has the scroll. Let's keep it on him for a second. We might need it for the vault. Oh my god.
Okay, so we have a room. There's no doors here or here. Uh, there you go. Oh, okay. That's a door. I, I forget I can't see. Or I don't see it the same like you guys do all the time. Okay. So there's a door. Okay, so this might be not the right end of the house. Even. Well, I guess we just have to... What's in this room right here? Let's go over here. This door's got something in it. Someone in there? Are you going to open it? So I'm going to say, I'm going to go, we'll open up every other door. And I... Uh, I did my scroll of silence, like, right about here. So, yeah, most of that room is also covered in silence. I'll hide, I'll hide around the corner in case someone's awake. I take the hide action so I can pop around the corner and shoot them when the door and opens. Put, okay. I'll put my ear up and I'll listen first. Can't hear anything. Don't silenced. hear a thing. <laughs> it's very. <laughs> <quiet>. <laughs> yes, it's I look, silenced. I look to you and I go, I can't hear any, and I open the door. Okay. Yeah, when you say you don't hear anything, it's just your mouth. Your lips, your lips move. <laughs> nothing happens. I, I nod my head. <laughs> Whatever you say is fine as long as you open the door. I go in here and I investigate. There's no people. Oh, your investigation. There's no people. There's some yeah. chests. Some. Uh, Jesus. Um, yeah, you don't find anything in How here. About I'm disappointed. You? Well, your investigation, Mister Green. I'm gonna check these four rooms as I have time. Okay. You can give me an investigation check. I got 13. Oh yeah. Oh, way to go, Mister oh. Blue. You got a Mr. natural Blue. One. Uh, you're. Walking over the carpet that you're already on, and you definitely hear a difference in the sound Ooh. as you walk over the carpet. Trap door, mm. awesome. Okay, I'll go. Uh, I'll go get them. You gonna go get your friends? Yep. I'll let them know okay. that I uh, noticed something here. Everyone will make it back here eventually. I'm just forcing you back there. Okay. You don't even get a choice. That's fine. I uh, for traps. Didn't find any more people to kill. <laughs> and look for traps. Wait. I'll give you advantage. Room. Did we hide the bodies in the other room? Is that no. what Mr. LeBron was doing? <laughs> no, <laughs> he was find out? He doesn't tell you because he doesn't talk. <laughs> I'm cool with whatever. We're in it now. <laughs> okay. So You're that was stealth there, Mr. Red. Yep, uh, I don't know how to roll Thieves' Tools. I haven't figured that out yet. But Stealth is the same as Thieves' Tools, so... But if you're checking for traps, you want to roll Investigation. Right. Oh, that's right. That, investigation. I'll help you. Okay. I'll give you the help action. Okay. You probably don't need help. No. 27. Better with, yeah. 27. Um, you better don't think it's trapped. You pull back the carpet, and yes, there is a trap door underneath this carpet here. Is it locked at all? It is locked. I have use my... on the other side. I have advantage with these tools. You want me to do it? Or not sure. advantage. I have uh, whatever expertise. Expertise. Yeah, I'll yeah. help you. Okay. So. Boop, boop. Okay, so 24. 24 is not enough. Whoa. The lock is a complex mechanism. It is. Um, a solid steel trap door so you could definitely tell the difference when you walked over it I'll try again yep all you're doing right now is just uh oof even worse using more time as you guys go through this task and I guess and you do feel the uh, time limit kind of becoming mo more of a pressure to this heist because there are now dead bodies that you're leaving behind everywhere you go 27 yeah. Is 27 enough? 27 is enough. It takes a few tries, but you eventually get it. Okay. Let me... Well, you see a staircase going down. Or, I'm sorry, a ladder going straight down. All right. Should I check Blue, for traps you're... again, or is... <laughs> yeah, I would. You got point. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll give you the help action. 
What are you checking for traps? The stairwell. The, yeah, stairwell, the ladder. 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 Um, the ladder is not trapped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any better safe than I don't sorry. know if that's a thing. Oh, oh go yeah, down. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, what, Matt? I'm so sorry. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it was trapped. Was... The ladder was trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes down except for me and Mr. White. Mr. White doesn't come down. What's going on? It's dark to black. in here. Yeah, it's dark. It's fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Butler Reynolds. Peace, Bert. And let me see if I can get your tokens back here. Get my tokens back. All right. The ladder comes straight down to this small room. It's a couple doors, a few doors actually. I can't see anything. I can't control my token. My what? Just... Oh wait, let me zoom out here a little. Me either. Oh yeah, you gotta just zoom click out on the token. Way. Um, select move. Yeah. No, nope. our tokens bad. are not our own. Hmm. All right, let's try it again. And this is where I don't know how to change that on my end. Oh, I know how. Here we go. That was weird. Oh, yeah, here we go. Sweet. Now you can control your tokens. Yeah, okay. Listen at that doorway. I'm gonna listen at this doorway. You don't hear anything in doorways. Check for traps. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, it's just a constant trap checking, listening, opening doors yep. fast right now. So we'll we'll skip through some of this. You guys um, don't hear anything, and you open all the doors in the room. Okay. I sit down in this chair and kick my feet up. Okay. There are more doors. We don't see anything interesting over here. I'll go join you at the doors. All right, man, you go first. Okay. Uh, first door, or what do you want? Yeah, I got your back. Do your okay. Thing. Investigation for traps. <laughs> 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 I am paranoid. Oh my god. There's going to be a trap somewhere. You are paranoid, aren't you? Take it on you. I'll give you the help action every time that you try to open or check for traps. <laughs> um, Bam. There's no trap. Okay. I open the door. Peek inside. You open the door. Take the hide action before the door opens. And there is something inside. Oh, oh it's upset. Roll your initiative. It looks not happy to see us. It does not look happy to see you. It looks very humanoid, except its eyes are completely red, and it's um, only wearing <laughs> its undergarments, and it shrieks, screams, and charges out of the room. Hello, friend. So actually, don't roll your initiative quite yet. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Give him a turn. What did you get, Mr. Red? I got 17. I got 23. I got 11. Uh, I see now the flaw in my plan. I should not have been next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. What did you get, uh, Mr. Red? Uh, 17. Okay. I got a 23. And I got a 7. Plus. 3. Alright. Now that we got all the uh, initiative in order. 
Oh, Mr. Brown didn't roll initiative. Poor Mr. Brown just along for the ride. So he crit. For a 19. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that's what happens when you dump decks. Alright, now I got it all in order. Can you guys see the whole turn order? I can only see me and the no. uh, monster. Me too. Dead I can't dope. see the rest of us. Oh, there, now I can see. I see what I did there. Who am I missing? Mr. White? Mr. Brown. I see Mr. White. There you go. There we go. But it's all zeros. Yep, that's a bummer. Oh, I can change mine. 23. Add a 7. There we go. Okay, it looks different on my end. Mr. White, what did you get? 11. I got it. Okay, you changed it. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Go ahead, um, yeah, it's your turn, Mr. Blue. You see this creature, it shrieks, it screams, it's starting to charge towards Mr. Red. Okay. Um, it's not happy to see us. It, does it have to clear surprise? Nope. Uh, it's a bummer. No one was actually stealthing down here. I'm oh. next to it, though, so you would get sneak attack if you're able to... You'd have disadvantage if you shoot it from there. Yeah, I'm going to step back over here. Uh, I'm going to take the bonus action to hide around the corner, and then I'm going to come back around that action. <laughs> Does that even work? That's how it works. You can hide during combat? Yep. Break line of sight. Halflings do it all the time. They use people. Hmm. Okay. I don't really care. I'll have to figure that out later. Okay. So should I, I should probably try to hide, because he's actively attempted to perceive where I went. Go ahead and hide. Yeah, all right. Oof, it's not good. You're not hiding very well. Okay. I mean, does he see me? When you come back around the corner, he can see you. <laughs> I, take, I take the shot <laughs> You peek anyways. back around the corner. <laughs> you pull your bow out. You sneak the arrow past the edge of the wall. I'll give you the shot. It kind of looks like it might be iffy right there, but okay. I think you can do it. All right, I take the shot. Pow. Nope. That 11 is not a hit. Sorry, Alex. It actually hits the creature and bounces off their skin. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for being a meat shield, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go next. He didn't want to take a swing at me when I stepped away. Did you step away without disengaging? I, did. I thought you could do this as a bonus action. I used bonus action to hide. Oh. I mean, you didn't need to hide to. because... Oh, for advantage? Yeah, to get advantage. Oh, okay. He tried to yeah. hide. I, was, I tried to hide to get advantage of the shot. It didn't work out very well. No. He was not He was not impressed. And he probably charges me a new one on the way away. So he will roll to hit you. I'm sure he will. My AC is not high. Oh! Is your AC 19? It's definitely lower. Plus, it's uh, lower than 19. Six? It's lower than 19. My AC is 16. So your AC is not a 25? No, it's a 16. <laughs> yeah, he claws you on the way by, shrieks, screams, and rips through your flesh. I'll use my reaction to and cut the damage in half. That's a good call. Yeah, it's not that bad. You're going to take... 4 plus... Three slashing damage, so seven damage. Five by two is three. So take three slashing damage. Okay. Three damage. Got it. All right. After you, Mr. Brown. Do it. We'll Get in there. Run up there. Get in there, Mr. Brown. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take the hit this time. And he'll try to clobber this thing with his uh, sort of warning. How can I get it to roll just once? Well, let's try it. Nope. nope. But the first time he crit. So he rolls the hit. He crits it and deals. Why do you not roll damage when you roll the hit? 
And I think it's just set that way. Yeah, okay. I think you're doing it differently. Holy crap. So he's going to do 12 plus 35, plus so 47. 47 damage. 47 damage to the creature as he reaches in and gouges it right under the chin. It does not go down. Ooh, bummer. That was his turn. Next? Uh, it's me it. next. So... <laughs> I'm going to use my insightful fighting bonus action. I make them make an insight check. Uh, and, or sorry, I make an insight check, they make a deception check. You don't have to. Mr. Brown is also next to him, so you get sneak attack oh, damage. Oh, right. I can do sneak attack. Never mind. Uh, oh, you were just trying to get advantage? It doesn't no, get No, I was advantage. trying to get sneak attack. Oh, sad. Uh, yeah, nine to hit. <laughs> I get, nine is not a hit. I get uh, two attacks, I think, right? Uh, how do you get two get attacks? attacks? Uh, offhand dagger. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. 14, I'm guessing, does not hit. 14 is also not a hit. Dude, wow. you get pulled okay. through the eat your face. Uh, yeah, that didn't work out very well for you. I don't know anybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You mean your friends? Yes. Yeah, you don't know any of them. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll, uh, I'll bonus action, disengage, and go this way. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> You're drawing it into the room. Okay. That's what you do. Uh, and I move up and I go, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. And yep, you I shuffle past his big fuck. turtle shell. And what's this? What's this creature look like? Can you hear me? Yeah, he looks oh, like that. What'd you say? What's it look like? Yeah, it looks a lot like that. Um, I don't know if I have a good picture for you. Here, maybe I can make a picture. No, it's all right. Uh, I'll say something like, 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 I wouldn't kick anybody out of bed for eating crackers, but. For you, I'd make an exception, and I'll use my rapier here. Attack. You'll use your rapier and attack. Yeah. Okay. Roll to hit. And I'll use my offhand dagger. Twenty-two is a hit, so you can do your damage on the first one. Uh, how do you do the damage? You already did it. It's eight piercing and twelve sneak attack. Oh yeah, that's that's not nice. Yeah. There you go. That's what it is. Hmm. I made you a picture, Matt. Nice. I mean, Mr. White. Mm. All right. Roll your damage, or did it already do your damage? He did twenty. Hit it. Uh, did you hit it twice? Yeah. No, with my dagger. Oh, well, the dagger doesn't hit. hit. The dagger doesn't hit. Okay. I see, because it auto-rolls damage. Yep. So you do 20 damage to the creature. Yeah, you've um, <laughs> never encountered something like this. It's humanoid. It's not human. It's not any race you know. It's fangs are sharp. Uh, and that was your turn? Yep, and I'll use my bonus action to... You already used your bonus action to stab with the dagger. Uh, damn it. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I didn't have my bonus action to disengage then, but you already used its reaction. You already used this reaction to claw me. Yep. Oh, so, yeah, I'm going to go, <laughs> yikes, and I'll hide behind Mr. Brown. Oh, okay. poor you hide behind Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. He's our meat shield, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. One comes around the corner screaming, and, um, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Brown. I know you're not here. Oh. No. It's just, it's never fun. Here we go. And it goes to bite him. It doesn't hit. It actually misses. Mr. Brown's AC is 17 because of his hardened turtle shell. 
and then it goes to claw. Actually, maybe it tries to bite again. We'll see. Oh, wait. When it bites, does it have a plus to hit? If it rolled a 14 and it has a plus 3 or better, it hits. Oh, yeah, it has a plus to hit. That's right. Because I'm not rolling from d20. Right. It has a plus 6 to hit. Oh, um, that's a bummer. So it bites onto Mr. Brown. The other one goes to bite Mr. Brown. With another 20. So they both latch on to this poor turtle. Oh, well, there goes the first one of us. <laughs> they sink their fangs into this creature's neck and... He can... He can half one of those against him by using his reaction. Yeah, evasion. Actually, technically, they have to claw. So first they claw, and then they uh, they get a bite. This one grapples him, and then they'll both go to bite him. So one bites this one clawed here, and this one will bite and claw. Let's just roll b the bites. Both bites. So one bite hits, and then the claw of the second creature. Oh, okay. Huh? Only uh, one bite hits on poor Mr. Brown here. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so he'll only take a 15 necrotic damage Divide. as it sinks its fangs into the, him. So that's a 7. Yep. But you can see it's sucking the life force out of his neck. You see the blood actually streaming up the fangs unnaturally as it bites into the neck. Oh. And they have him grappled. Ugh. This one... You hate turtles, right? I do hate turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Brown. So who's first? Back to the top. Okay. I'm a, I will hide again behind the corner and then come around for the shot. So should I roll for my hide? Okay. Yeah, roll your hide. Okay. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. You can just keep hiding. 23? <laughs> Sure. Okay. They don't know exactly where you're coming from, I think, is the idea. I see. All right, so I'm going to shoot this one that's eating his face. Straight down the hallway. Yep, the one you can see. Okay, so This is the one that came running down. It hasn't been hit yet. So because I hid, I think I get advantage. And I have elven accuracy, so one, two, three. I see what you're trying to do here. Yeah. So, 23? 23 is a hit. So I do 24 plus 17. I do 41 damage to it. Boom. 41 damage? Yeah. Is that piercing and sneak attack? Yep. 24 piercing, 17 sneak attack. The piercing. What is your damage? D8 plus 18. Yeah, because I have... Because uh, your power attack. Yep. I see, I see. 41 damage. All right, you hit it. It hurts. It looks like it sinks right into his chest. Or its chest. Are you taking the minus 5 to that? Or yeah, I only have plus 4 to hit. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. That was your turn. Next. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown is grappled. Hmm, this is not a good place for Mr. Brown to be. Nope, but he can't get free unless he can fight free. I mean, he's super strong. I'll be able to shrug him off and run behind us. You can take an action to break the grapple, take a bonus action, disengage, and then behind everybody. Mr. White, take it like a man. Uh, Mr. White does not take damage. <laughs> he's going to escape, yes. That's what he's going to try. <laughs> that's what I would do. So his I... action will be to get out. Ooh, oh, God. That's not well, he's not good. going anywhere. <laughs> Well, they get a roll. You ever had turtle soup? It gets a roll. Maybe it's gonna roll bad. You know, I, I got an init I got an inspiration. There you go. And he's all got, right. He Mister Brown will get free. He also has plus and five plus four. And disengages whatever. a bonus action. Actually, he'll hit first. 
There you go. Does that sound brown. smart? He does not get sneak attack damage. Oh, uh, uh, he does right. not hit. He pathetically swings at this creature, bonus disengages, and runs. Good for him. It's about to be bad. I think I'm going to end up in that room behind me. Go ahead, Mr. White. With the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, go ahead, uh, Mr. Red. Oh, um... You could run up and take a swing, disengage, and run off. Yeah, I'm not going to get the kiting tactic. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to run up, insightful fighting, bonus action, make the deception check. I make an insight check. What is insightful fighting? Uh, here, let me... he makes an insight check. Click it on the d20. Yeah, there you there go. You go. Oh, how'd you do that? That's cool. All right, listen, Alex, mm -hmm. real quick, pro tip. If you do this, you can't bonus action disengage to get away. Yeah, I can do an attack of opportunity to get away, I think. Okay. So it will roll its um, deception, which is weird. You win. Right. Okay, so I... Is that get... kind of like, um, look over here? Um, oh, that's distraction. He's, yeah, he's I think it's more like opening. Yeah, looking for a weakness yeah. kind of thing. Uh, so then okay. I'll do my rapier. It's a fourteen hit. <laughs> crit? Why is it showing it as a crit? I don't know. Hmm. Uh. I don't know either. But oh. So don't do the crit damage. Because if he, so here's the thing: it's not a crit. Oh, do I it's have... Basically, if he rolls an insight check and rolls less than something, then it automatically becomes an eight. So he rolled a one plus six, but it equals eight plus six because an insight check. Yeah, but see rolls. where his damage says critical. Yeah, That's I think weird. I figured it out. There is a thing that says force crit. So. Ooh, whoops. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to retry it? It didn't hit anyway. So. No. Fourteen is not a hit. Okay, and I so will... the damage wouldn't even matter. I will try to move to here. I'll take and an attack try to thing. swing at you. Yep. What is your AC? Uh, 14. 14? Can... And it rolled a 14. So it hits you. They can both hit him. I'm going to say that only one can, because one... Well, yeah, actually they both can. Thank you, Josh. Yep. No problem. <laughs> I'll do uh, evasion on the <laughs> first one. Um, instead of dealing damage, it's just going to. Ah, uh, wants to hug you and love you forever and ever. Grapple you, so can you it... try to run away, and it grabs onto you. Oh, can it do that as a as an opportunity attack? Technically, it's not raw. That's a good but... question. Hmm. So then, I'm going to say no. It'll just attack you. I like damage too. Because I think it would have to be just a basic attack, right? I think so. Alright, take. 11 slashing damage, which you can half. I'll have that to 5. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Mr. Mr. White. White. So if I like, uh, hold just the so line, I know bro. The hold the line. I can, I can get up there, attack, and then disengage. As a bonus As action. Bonus. You guys are trying to attack, retreat, attack, retreat. Yeah, and this guy right here is uh, <clears throat> damaged the most, right? Uh, they've both been pretty heavily damaged. All right, all right, so I'll just go up right there and <clears throat> take a swim with okay. my rapier. So you run up. Does everyone have a rapier? Nope, I have a short sword. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I decided not to rapier. But I don't get a sneak attack, do I? No. You do not. <clears throat> so 10 damage. So, Still good. Five. 
And that is a hit, and you do 10 piercing damage. You stab it, and then you're going to disengage run? Yep. And... Oh, you can't go that far, bro. How much? 5, 10, 15. Yeah, you can. That's 6. 30. Yeah, he, he moved up to get there, too. All right. Oh, so you can go... 4 or back. Like there. Or maybe there. Yeah. Whichever you prefer. I'll protect Mr. Crown. <laughs> okay. The bitch. thing is you guys stab it continuously. Oh, Shrieks, screams, and... Oh. Both run. Uh -oh. Can I see where they go? They go down the hallway. Shoot. We're on some shit now, boys. Back to the top. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I move. Let's see. How far? One, two, three, five, six, seven. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to... My action, so if something comes around the corner, I'm going to plug it. Okay, so you hold your action. I'm like, hey, so we'll just hide down as well? Here. Uh, oh, I'll hide. Good call. In bright light? Uh, I mean, I can hide from that. It can't see me. So if they can't see me around the corner, if they come around the corner, then they see me. But I don't know if my shot goes off first or how that works. Uh, you're in bright light. They'd see you. Uh, I'm going to go in this doorway that's open right here then, right? It wasn't open, but you can open it. Uh, I don't open it. That's a bad idea. <laughs> There's another door <laughs> previously that was open. Yeah. Where? Go into that the door room. that they were in. Oh, right here? Right here. Mm -hmm. I guess I will go over there and hide and wait for someone to come down the hallway. I say someone has to go down and see what's going on with these things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do not take the initiative to go down there? Oh, dude, I'm a long-range character. If they get in my face, it's foobar for me. Alex is the guy that can so do Mr. Sneak Brown attack. moves up. Yeah, Mr. Brown, I'll be the man. And motions you forward because um, he doesn't see anything. Okay. Okay, so now it's my turn. And yep. Yep. 30. Go right there. And I'll hold a, an action for throwing a dagger if I see something. Okay, so you will also hold your action. You got to go first. You're the only one that can sneak attack by yourself, man. Boom. And I'll also hold an action to throw a dagger. Oh, I see Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please. So that's what you guys do. Yeah, you know what? Mess that. I go open this door across the way from me. <laughs> Which door? The one that's right in front of me over here. Is there another door across oh, from me? okay. That one. Yep, that one. I do it. There you go. Bathrooms? Yep. It's the bathrooms. Okay, look. we Someone's got to go first, man. Yep, now it's the turtle again. Who are you telling that to? Are we going to stay in and turn action? Just go. Go, Mr. man. Brown. Go, Mr. Blue. Oh. Are we staying in initiative or no? You can. Let's so just what does the portal do then? Initiative. Let's go. Uh, turtle will... Move off to the side, he disappears. Okay. He hasn't said a damn word since you met him, so... Then 20. I'll be right back. Uh oh we lost Mr. Blue. I'll move up to there and see what it looks like. Does that you look see like that there's a couple or... doors, and the doors are open over here. Okay, yeah, never mind, I'm back. 30... Right here. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Instead of initiative, we'll just say you guys, then enemies. Because that's how it works out anyways. Okay. Okay. So... These doors are closed? These doors right here are open. Oh, what do you guys see? Oh, they're open? There. Yep, they're open. Okay. So you moved up? There. Yep. Okay. Well, that's where they went. Get in there, man. 
do your thing. <laughs> uh, is it my turn or? How far did you move? Uh, fifteen feet. I guess I go first, huh? Well, you were playing chicken. Nah, that's cool. If he's like, here they are, I'll do something on my turn. Okay, so then I'll move up. Uh, bonus action, insightful. Oh wait, no, that just lasts. Was this one that I was fighting earlier? So you had to move, move, right? Uh, to get now, to there. I moved fifteen feet, so I have another five that I moved up. So you 20. came from down here. Yeah. From what I, I was thinking, this was two rounds because I was trying to go turn oh, by turn. Oh, I see. So I ended my and, turn um, right here, and then if we did two rounds, you'll see them up here. Oh, okay, that's a bummer. Okay, so okay. if you see him, call out. Uh, my turn yep. now. To do with. I'll I'll call out and say I'm ru they're running. So then, okay. 15, 20, 25, 30, I would make it up to there. Okay, you make it up to there, so and take that hide action. Since you made it up to there, you'll actually see them both. Okay, and uh, I'm going to take the dodge action. <laughs> okay, in so case they come toward. I took the hide action. I'm gonna shoot somebody. Uh, it's my turn first, dude. Uh, is it? Are we still going to turn order? Okay, but you do your thing. Uh, I'm only gonna be moving. Yeah, what are you trying to do, Mr. Blue? Oh, I don't know. Us and them, I thought was what was going on, but never mind. I'll wait. So they can turn to eat you guys. <laughs> and I will take the dodge action. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay. Mr. Blue. So that's my stealth roll. And I'm going to uh, shoot him as I come around the corner. So take my shot somewhere in there as I breach the corner. I still have 10 feet of movement left, but here's my roll to hit the one that's closer. Uh, um. So I roll an 18. How many times did you roll? Three, because when I have advantage, I can use up to roll my lowest roll. So I figure the first two are my roll with initiative, and my third roll replaces my lower of the first two rolls. So you have advantage because you're hidden? Yeah. Because I took the did hide action. The hide? Yeah, I did. It was uh, 22. 22. Okay. So That is a hit. I'm going to do 40 damage to one closer to us. 40 damage? Holy crap. 25 piercing plus 15 sneak attack. All right. You plug it right in the leg, it um, hobbles off out of sight. Man, I move up 10 more feet for the rest of my action. So the rest of my movement goes there. Okay. Actually, no, sorry. I'm going to end up here. I'm going to turtle. Technically, they should have gone before you went anyways. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can back but that all up. I'll still give you the hit. Okay. They split. One move left, one move right. Yo, these guys are going to get their friends. We need to do this now. Okay, so then it would be uh, Josh, who already went. So Tortle next? Mr. Tortle. Mr. Brown. Tortle, what is he doing? Mr. Brown will move up to here. Get in there, Mr. Brown. That's where he goes. He holds. Okay, I'm going to... It's 5, 10, 25 of my movement to get there. See what you see. Oh, stairs going down. And let's get some more of this revealed. <coughs> it's very bright here. And I guess you can see some over here, too. I'll use my full movement go right there uh the one that le went left isn't in there huh nope hmm let's see I would have to use bonus action or action to dash 
Could I tell which one of the ones I was fighting was the one that I had used insightful fighting on before? Uh, at this point, I can't even remember, so I will arbitrarily roll it. Odds is left. Yep, the one to the left. Okay, so if I'm going after that one, I'll move another 10, 20, 30. Whoa, okay, well. Let's um get you backed up a little bit. Better. Let's go right here. <laughs> there you go. Now you can move. You literally moved your token right on top of it. <laughs> oh, okay. So then I'll move up to there and uh, use the insightful fighting again because it lasts for one minute. You can still hit? No. Yeah. Yes. That was bonus action to dash. Oh, bonus action dash. Yeah, he can. Wow. So I fast. will. You guys are oh, fast. <laughs> that is a hit. Uh, so. Is your rapier on fire? Uh, let me check here. Oh, it takes a bonus action to cause the flames to erupt. So no, there's no fire damage. So just is that 25. every time, or does it just last? Uh, it just lasts oh, until I use a bonus action, yet. drop it again. But I figured it wouldn't have been out while we're walking around trying to sneak around, so I didn't have a chance True. yet to light it up. So the sneak attack damage is the twenty. Yep. So the seven is the fire. Yep. So the just ignore the, the seven. So, so twenty-five. 25. Huh. 25 damage. And that'll be my turn. It's still up. You actually mm. stab right into it. It screams and it grabs onto you. Thing's taking over 100 damage. Oh, you got the other one, Josh. Oh, I got the one down the stairs? Well, I'm going to keep going. Oh, Matt gets You the... got the one that went to the right. Okay. Matt gets to move before it attacks. One, two. So which, where, where's it at? Over here? No, it went. Stop me. Way. Okay, yeah, there's one that's this way, and then you saw me take a hard left and go that way. Okay. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you get right up there, huh? Yep. <laughs> you can use bonus action to dash if you want to. Uh, just get on in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you go all the way in. Oh, no. There's two more of those things, and they're Master Celine Dion. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start using famous actors for all the tokens from this point on. <laughs> you do still have your action, because you just use your move and your bonus actions, so you can move back if you want to. You can yeah, run back. We're going to move back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you say anything as you come running back out of that hallway? <laughs> <laughs> no need to play quiet anymore, please. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let me reveal the rest of the room, too. Oh, oh boy. That was funny. <laughs> well. Alright. They'll go now. Yeah. Matt. Peace out, bro. <laughs> that one runs up on you. This one. Make can double run into him. Right there. If it double moves and he runs, it gets to take a piece out of him. Oh, I'm Celine Dion, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, make a wisdom saving throw, Mr. White. Uh, well, you know what? Good thing here. Celine Dion's magical powers of persuasion will turn you against us. Twelve. Ooh, bummer. Twelve. That is a bummer. That is not enough. Yeah. What does it do? Turn me 
80 years old. <laughs> oh, I wish. Yo, you're an elf. You wouldn't even care. Oh, wait. I get advantage on that. Look. Yeah, right. Why do you get advantage? He just give you shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I get advantage on it because I have a protect. You might, actually. Because... What does it say? You should have, like, a little um, advantage icon on your oh, DNA. Oh, that's sheet. right, because we're elves. Racial traits. Yep. If advantage against saves being charmed, magic can't put us to sleep. So if he's gonna be charmed, what? then yeah, then he All gets right. it. You save. Amazingly, you stave <laughs> off the effects of the charm. Elves are better. She tries to seduce you. Instead, Celine Dion gets nothing. <laughs> and this creature will instead bite you. Because it only took one action to get to you. You resist your Canadian wiles. <laughs> so, so instead, get bit. <laughs> so instead, get bit. With a natural 20. <gasps> Oh, Actually, it has to grapple you first. It has to grapple you first. So it claws you, it grapples you with a natural 20. Whoa. And then it'll bite you. Take um, 16 slashing damage. <sighs> and then it goes into bite. Uh, you, you can, can have, have half one of it. these. Alright. So. As a reaction. How much damage in total did it? What was the... What was your question? Which do I have? I want to have the most one. Right? Or is it just well, you have to choose now if you have this one or if you wait for yeah. the next one. Yeah, I'll take It's going to bite you. It's leaning in to get a, a nice bite out of your shoulder. Uh, I'll take half, half this one. Half of this one. Seven. So take eight. eight. And then it goes to bite you. <coughs> God damn oh, it. yeah, it gets you. Mm. You guys are having a hard time. Yeah. Keep rolling these things. It leans in, it sinks its fangs into your neck, and starts sucking the blood out. You will take. Eh, it's not the worst. It could be worse. <laughs> take 16 necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points are reduced by 16. It's drinking the life out of you, but it could be worse. It was a really good roll. <laughs> 16 necrotic? Necrotic. Oh, man, the best part about this is none of us have a way to heal. No, you're all rogues. You don't heal. Nope. I mean, our max tape hit point is reduced anyway, so it's not like we can heal anyway. So that was um their turn. She'll actually move one back since she failed. Go ahead, Mr. Blue. Oof. All right, bro. You hear the ruckus going on above you, up the stairs, but you don't see it. I will roll to hide. Roll to hide. 23. I'm going to come up to here. I'm going to shoot that guy right here. Slows out. I gotta figure out how to mute my. There we go. So is a twenty-two enough? All right. What were you doing? Sorry, I had to mute something. Oh, I hid. I ran up to where I'm at. I took a shot at this dude right here, and I hit with a twenty-two. What'd you hide for? I hid for twenty-three. Okay. <laughs> I still don't understand how that works. So he takes. You just get to hide whenever you want. As long as they don't have line of sight, I can make a bonus action to roll a hide. And when you're attacking, you're just because you're hidden. Yeah, I kind of like pop out of nowhere and I'm like, so it's out. Can anyone do that? Or is that just a rogue thing? That's just a rogue thing. Because we can hide as can a, an action, but we can do it as a bonus action. That's why you can hide as a bonus action. Okay. I allow it because I think I have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it works. I hit. All right, rolled a. I hit with a twenty-two. That is a hit. I do forty damage to it. Forty damage to the creature. Yep. All right. Let me pull that back up. 
This one? Yep, this one. Okay. He's dead. You're welcome, You man. kill it. And then I move... That was the one that left. you had already wounded. I move back here. Of course you do. Okay, let Celine Dion get a look at me. Whoa, he's back? Okay. I just do that <laughs> instead. Like this There's difficult terrain. You have to hop over his dead corpse. I mean, maybe don't go that way. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Mr. Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown. Um, Yo, is Mr. Brown going to face tank Celine Dion? No, Mr. Brown's going to hide. <laughs> Good for <Right> there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Brian would make it back by now. I was wrong. So Mr. Brown is a coward. If he's trying to hide, Brian gets here. he could hide around this corner. He has enough movement. Oh, you're, you're right. Yeah, he definitely does yeah, that. That's a better move for him. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like being out on the front lines. If I could have gotten over there, I would have. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Spot. Red. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... I'm grappled. I do not have disadvantage on my attacks, right? Uh, let's take a look. I'm pretty sure that if you're going... restrain. Is just well, advantage. that's if you're restrained. Let me see if you're actually restrained. Conditions. I think it's just zero movement speed. Um, grappled. Nope, you're just grappled. Yeah, zero okay. movement speed. And can't oh. benefit from any bonus to your speed. Condition as the grapple is incapacitated. Uh, so ends. you do not hit it with an eight. So I will bonus action dagger. So and you do hit it with your tiny little dagger. But you still do um, 14. amazingly 14 damage on uh, the dagger. You don't you do still 14. Get sneak attack. You don't get the plus 3 from your dex, so you do 11. Because it's an offhand attack? Yeah. Sorry to be a party pooper. Oh, okay. So 11. Well, it's 4d6. It said to roll the 4. No, five, the sneak six, attack seven, eight, he nine, gets. Ten. Yeah, but, it's the pure yeah. thing that I don't get the plus 3. Oh, I rolled a 1 on a d That makes sense. Right. So, 11 damage. Okay, so 11 damage. That's actually enough to take this one down as well. I can't make this one an X. Why not? There we go. I don't know, because I'm still figuring this program out. Oh, okay. I'm not meant for roll 20. Okay, so that one's <laughs> I like dead. Live play. I will move up to the corner and peek around. You see what's going on. Right. Looks like they killed the other um, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Brown ran away. Mr. White, he got chomped on a little bit. He's like, run. Yep, that's my action, so... Now we got Matt. Mr. White. Mr. White. Oh God, guys! Well, what, a t what time is it? Ten thirty-nine. Uh, Why are you thinking about just suiciding? <laughs> yeah, is that your plan? <laughs> really? It's not a good plan. Uh, I'm going to take my action and I am going to my rapier and dagger on my way. My uh, bow. <clears throat> I didn't understand any of that. What do you mean? He's putting his rapier and dagger away and pulling out his bow. Oh, okay. You're going to long range. Uh -huh. Yep. And All right. I'm going to move on top of this table uh, back to the great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hitting all corners here. Everyone's spreading out. Don't group up. And it's their turn. Who's that? I don't know. Hmm? Is that you, Alex? Oh, one second. Oh. <laughs> I, was like, I got roommates that? that are talking. Oh, sure. You're stinking roommates. All right, let's uh. Need to come up with a macro for all that. Okay. So you see her um duck around the corner. 
Oh, no one actually. Actually, no one sees our duck around the corner. <laughs> nope. We don't see what's going on. You don't see anything. But you hear her. What is this that you want from me? Hey, what are we here to steal again? Cup of light. The, what are we here to steal again? Sorry? A uh, cup of light. Cup of life? Yes. I believe that's what it was, right? According to the handout. Okay. Anybody can answer her? <laughs> it's someone's turn. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your You can answer. Sure. Okay. One, two. First, I'm going to take the hide action. Because I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> so I just do what I've been doing because I guess it's been, it's been working. So hide action. I roll a 17 to be stealthy. I'm going to move up four, one, two, three, enough to get a peek in the room. Four, I don't see anybody. Uh, yeah, you do. Oh, I do? Oh. Uh, she was just not in line of sight at the time. Oh, and you actually... No, you don't see this one. No. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so that was bad. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna, actually, my fourth move will be here. And I, so I say to her, we're here for the cup of life. And I take a shot at her. <laughs> you shoot her? Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> She's... Well, if you talk, you reveal yourself. I shoot her first, then, and I tell her we're here. Then. <laughs> <laughs> That that's definitely the wrong way to do that. <laughs> Is it eighteen enough to hit her? Eighteen is enough. I deal thirty-seven damage to Celine Dion, <laughs> 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 and then I keep moving. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait! You're not done. Oh, because I have more movement left. Yeah, but she held her action. Oh, snap. If anyone attacks her. Okay. And you attacked her I instead did. of talking. She didn't I declare her. she be dead, though. Yeah, she doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I shoot her. I say we're here for the cup of life after an arrow ends up in her chest. Um. Take that, you Canadian sheep. Emperor. Actually, you don't know what she does. She says something in a language that you've never heard. So I don't know. Do you guys have any weird languages? I think I have uh, something. I have orc. And <laughs> you have orc? You speak yeah. orc. I'm an elf and sylvan. Yeah. I I'm just an elf and sylvan. Uh, okay, so anyone else? Like, no one? She's like, slap me. I'm an elf and leaf dance, so no. Yeah. Yeah, we all have to just can't. Okay. So no, you guys don't understand what she says. Something like that. Okay. That was terrible. I can do better. <laughs> I'll come up with something. <laughs> what, ha what happens to me? Nothing. You don't know what happens. Oh, cool. Well, then I keep running. F that. I'm on the fly, man. I gotta get that. One, two, three. I end up over here by Mr. Blue. Okay. And I'm like, hey, I think she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you just shot her, or...? Maybe. Maybe. You shot her and then said, what do you want? <laughs> it, it might be because I shot her. <laughs> It's possible. I think that might be why, yeah. Who would know? Okay, well that's what you did. Yep. Mr. Brown's just gonna hide. He he doesn't talk anyways. Yeah, he doesn't say much. So, that's what he does. He's like Perry the Platypus. He doesn't Mr. do Brown's much. A I mean, whatever. He's doing his thing. All right. Who's next? Alex? Uh, so Mr. me Brown. next. So Alex, yeah. 10, 15, 20. I want to see what's around this corner. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, You're leaving yeah, me he's here. like ditching the party over there. <laughs> yeah, don't go find more bad guys. We don't need that. I'm just trying to make sure nothing sneaks up on us. At the door. At least that's a closed door. For now. <laughs> yes, for now. I'll move Is that back. What are you gonna do? Uh, wait, that was ten or five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, I can move back. I'll. Uh... Hey, someone's got to go out there. I say. <laughs> <laughs> I'll nod to him. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> good turn. Good turn. 
And I'll just go ahead, Mr. White. Mr. White goes to the door. And do I have any kind of like, is this hiding or is it, can I hide right here? Or can you have I to roll right before here? you move. Or roll you have before. to do it as a bonus action, apparently. Yep. This is what I'm learning right now. Okay. So, let's see. This is I have to you. say, I I think it's like the most annoying cheese I've ever heard of, Josh. It's what rogues <laughs> do. That's their thing. They just hide and shoot? I mean, if you're a long distance rogue, yeah. Halfling rogues okay. can do it great because they can step back behind their friend and hide behind a friend. I guess I don't mind it, except you literally have to do it every turn. I do. Like, I have to hide. I have to shoot. So, yep. is this... I can take a shot from here, or... Uh, yeah, there. come around the corner, but right there. you have to hide first, so there's your hide is 19. So come around the corner, take your shot, it's Lindy on. And I'll take my shot. There we go. What'd you roll? I turned the combat music off just because, and then... <laughs> You no. guys just kept going through combat. Yep. <laughs> yep. You rolled a 23 to hit. 23 is a hit. And so it's a 25. For damage. 25 damage to Celine Dion. Although you have uh, advantage if you come around the corner. So you can always roll again to see if you crit. Oh, yeah. Let me just see if I can hit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that was your turn. Uh, you go to hide again, I'm well, assuming, yeah, I'm as usual. Going to, but I, uh, I'll just kind of wave at her a little bit. And you can only hide once a turn, so he's not hidden. Okay, she's not going to deal with this too much longer. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Can I see what's over here? Brian, I thought you were kind of distracted for a second. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> actually put something to you. <laughs> can, can I see what's over here? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it stairs going up? I should have grabbed a picture of Burt Reynolds, too, earlier. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, I just had to. I'm sorry. That's awesome. <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? It's her turn. Yep. She's definitely not going to keep dealing with this. <laughs> Jack in the box, peekaboo. Goodbye, Mr. White. <laughs> peekaboo. Peekaboo. Yeah, this peekaboo <laughs> game. She doesn't like it. The cup of life is not here. If you are seeking that, I'm afraid you will be very disappointed. She says as she runs. Oh. Do we believe her? Anybody want to see if that was a lie? Yeah. Uh, insight? Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> really good at that. Insight. That's what you do, Alex. You're way over there, Alex. Mr. Blue. So no visual cues to tell if she's lying and just hear in her voice? Yeah, give me a roll with disadvantage. She she screamed at you. Whoa. I rolled the same thing. Amazing. <laughs> it sounded genuine while she was screaming and pulling an arrow out of her side. <laughs> uh, I'll nod to... Uh, Mr. Blue and uh, say we should probably still check anyway. Good call. I hide. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I move up. <laughs> so there's my hide roll. Where are you moving? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I go to there. You go to there? Uh, okay. I'm peeping things uh, out. Yeah, it looks like she went through the door back there. Okay. And closed it, because F this. 
I guess I move up. You guys keep shooting One, her and running. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's do four. I moved to there. Do I see anything? Oh, oh that one. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him. Oh, I can't. That was my other action. Shit, that's four. You didn't bonus five. action. Oh, no. Oh, no, you dashed. Seven. I go back there. I'm like, oh, F, oh, F. You forgot about that guy? <laughs> I mean, I figured my character didn't know what was going on. I knew he was hiding there. But I'm like, there's still one more. There's still one more. Okay, next, Mr. Brown. Um, he's disappeared. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Brown, you mother. See, I told you. <laughs> what a jerk. Well, uh, I'm about to get face bit real bad. So go ahead, Mr. Red. 30. Uh, I'll move there and... Uh... Ready and action to throw a dagger if uh, anyone attacked Mr. Blue. Okay. Mr. White. Uh, I will. You like your table right there? I'm coming uh, back into no, the room that I'm I gonna... exited in all speed. Huh. That's my hide. Oh, okay. You rolled a stealth over there. You're hidden uh, on the table no, in know. bright light. Here, <laughs> this is <laughs> under the table. This is my like hide. literally under the torch. And I'm... what is that even? You're you're under it. <laughs> under what? The bench? No, I'm on top of the bench. <laughs> okay, you're hidden on top of the bench in bright light. <laughs> I mean, when he comes on the corner, he's going to see you. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to be right there, and I'm going to ready my action. When that Chica pops out, I'm going to shoot her. All right. Oh. Blah. Take your actions, guys. Go ahead and shoot. Oh, I throw my dagger. Oh, God. Wow. That's a good shot, Mr. White. Oh, I rolled a natural one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you rolled a natural one. What happens? Oh, please. No. Um, I... Do you want to hurt your friend? Not really. I mean, I threw the dagger, so I guess I'm down a dagger. I don't know if that's good enough. Sure, it snaps against the wall and it shatters. Okay. I do have two please daggers, go. so that's why I kept throwing, trying to throw one. You needed a better dagger than that. Yeah. Uh, I'm in it now. I suppose that it's not sneak damage. So that's just seven for piercing. If you wait until yep, that was a... if you wait until it's next to me, it's sneak damage. But you said when it pops out, so yep. yep. Right away, he hit it right when it came around the corner. Should I put the combat music back on? No, you guys are gonna probably finish this quick. Oh, it will hit you though, yeah. Mister Wild. That's a bummer. So first, it rolls to claw you. Is your AC less than 22? Yes. <laughs> okay, it claws you and grapples you and hits you for a whole seven piercing damage. Do you want to use your reaction to have that? Oh, I will wait for the bite. Which it does. It's leaning in, its fangs are bared, and they're already bloody from someone else that got bit before. Probably that turtle. Yep, so I just took seven damage. Ugh. I'm oh, this not. one I have. Actually, actually this bite. one is a new one. You haven't seen this creature. Okay. This is the third one, so it hasn't been damaged yet. Sweet. And it goes to bite you. Uh, eighteen. Yeah, it hits me. And it bites you for a total of fifteen necrotic damage, and that'll reduce your maximum hit points, and you can have that. Yeah, I have it. So seven. So, and that reduces your total by seven. I mean, that's cool. I'm never going back up, so. <laughs> well, someday you might if you guys play this again. Yeah. All right. Get out of there. Who's next? Stop it, cat. You're getting bit on. You're grappled. What do you want to do? Um. Good God. I'm going to attempt to escape. If you shoot it, you have disadvantage. Uh, yeah, I, I hear you. 
attempt to escape would be an action. Now that's an athletics contested or an acrobatics. So you can do it with either. An escape, you can do athletics or acrobatics. I'll try to fight it off. I'm screaming, get it off me, get it off me. Oh, 14. 14 is enough. You actually do manage to escape the grapple. Okay. Uh, disengage is a bonus action. And then I'm going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Help me, help me. Get it off of me. I, then I fight it off. I disengage and I run. That's what you did? Yep. Next? Next to get the turtle. Unless he doesn't do anything. Do I Turtle's gone. I don't, you don't know where uh, you're you know, really seriously. Uh, I'll do the bonus action insightful fighting. It's very possible the turtle was just never here. You're not really sure. <laughs> so they have to make a deception check. To try to pers or to try to uh, outmaneuver your insight. Yep. His insightfulness. Oh. Hey. It did it. Exactly. Oh, no, actually, what's its charisma? Yeah, it probably has a negative charisma modifier. No, it has a plus charisma. Oh, it does it. <laughs> so you're not um, able to spot any weaknesses. You think you see something, and then it maneuvers its uh, body perfectly. Uh, my daggers have not been my friend, so I'm going to try to toss another dagger. Okay. Get away from me, dagger. Cut out. So you're trying to get rid of him, is what you're saying? Stop it. Uh, well, I'm, I'm throwing a dagger. I don't plan on getting until after it's dead if it dies. So that is a hit. Uh, just five piercing. Oh wait, yeah, it's my action, so five piercing. And ten, twenty, thirty. <laughs> Move up back there. <laughs> Hi, Mr. White. <laughs> yeah, right. <Okay. laughs> I plug it. Shoot it. Mm. This is the most like <laughs> run around I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. It's because we don't have a tank. Yeah, right. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what you guys did. The run and gun tactical retreat. Oh, oh God! What oh, is that? they're oh, wolves! No. Oh no! <laughs> what are you oh, trying to do? No. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Celine Dion comes back from around this corner instead of the other oh, one. Oh f! Celine Dion, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we just want the cup and then let us go. <laughs> I want my heart She'll to look go at you off. again. Actually, she's gonna come right here. Oh, no. I have already told you I don't have what this thing you are looking for. Um, does anyone have history? <laughs> oh, come on. I Someone do. might have history. I'm don't laugh at me. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. I got Whoa. Let's go ahead and roll your history, Mr. Um, White. Did it go? Nope. There you go, 14. Eh, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. <clears throat> you know a little bit about the different families in the city, the Grey Mercies and the Hanovers. You were tasked to go to the Hanovers and retrieve the Cup of Life. You Wait believe a this... Did I get advantage on it? No, no, I must have clicked it twice. I'm I went so with sorry. the 14. Okay. You would believe this lady is probably one of the Hanovers... Maybe one of the daughters out of the four. There is no cup of life here to be found, but if you want immortality, I may be able to grant that to you. She says as she ducks around the corner. So the wolves, did they attack me? Nope, they just ran up on you. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. I have a thing. I have an ability that I may want to use. 
features and traits, class features. What is it called? Skirmisher. You can move up to half your speed as a reaction when enemy ends its turn within five feet of you without provoking opportunity attacks. So yes, please. When they end their turn, I move one, two, three. <laughs> okay. And after that, it would be the turtle's gone. So no, that's not my turn. Me. That's my ability. Oh, okay. Then it's your turn. On their turn, I can do it. What are you doing? Uh, I am going to. Does that break line of sight if I move there? Oh yeah. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sh shoot through a wall, man. No, no, I just have to hide first and then come back around the corner and mess them up. Oh, yeah. So I do it. That's five. I come over here. That's ten feet of movement. I shoot that wolf that's going to eat Mr. White. You did natural 20 or stealth throw? I did. Uh -huh. All right. So one, two, three. Uh, it's 22 enough. 22 is a hit. It takes 43 damage. Spow! 43? Oh my god. Why did I even put him on the board? I only can kill one a turn. So that's oh. one, two, and I go three, four. Is there something over here? Oh yeah, you gotta go through the doors. So you can open them as a part of your move. Okay. I go over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. Actually, no. That that was a bad move. Wait, one, two, three. Instead, I go. Uh, I'm gonna go this way instead. Ow! Stop it. I'm gonna go. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six. I go over there. All right. Now next. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to move there. And. Uh, I'll light up my sword as a bonus action because I'm tired of not having it lit. Okay. Good call. And then I'll take a swing with my rapier. To stab a wolf. Stab a wolf. What's this? 22 to hit. Uh, 22 is a hit. You don't get your sneak attack, but you still do 15 damage. That's including the fire as you pierce right into its uh, belly. Yep. Let me see if it's even up anymore. Holy crap. Uh, that one's dead. Oh, they die really easy. This is just... Tooling these things. Next. Uh... Got to come around the corner. Yeah, I'm actually going to move back and then provoke attack of opportunity from that wolf. Okay. It will try to bite you. Wow. And it'll actually hit you with a 19? Yep, that'll hit. Yep, plus. So take 7 plus 2 more piercing damage, so 9 piercing damage. I'll do my uh, reaction to uh, have that, so 4. Okay. I feel like this only ends one way at this point, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. White? I move down. I hide. <laughs> and then do you pop out and shoot? Oh my god. <laughs> and then I pop out and shoot. Ooh, you fail. Crit, crit fail. And you hide. botched. You botched. Yeah. Why? Because you were the one, dude. You botched. Yeah. I guess I make noise while I hide. But that doesn't matter, because I'll step back up, and I'll take a shot. <laughs> Alright, so you don't get the sneak attack, but you do hit it, and you do nine, nine piercing. piercing damage to it. It pierces into its skin, it lets out a yelp, 
And it runs up and attacks you, jerk. I don't have... Why did you do that? Yeah, right, because I still have to move. Well, then it attacks the first thing it sees. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep running. Yep, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> and it hits you. Oh. So, Sorry, with Alex. that hit, you're going to take... 2d4 plus 2 piercing damage and make have. a strength saving throw. So 5 damage and you save so you don't get tripped on your way out while you guys are kiting these things around. <laughs> um, And everyone left again so... Yeah. I think um, combat's done, probably. You guys just kill this wolf. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. There's one shot and he dies. Slap. He was at one hit point. And what are you doing? I think we have to go after You want to go after I mean, the, it sounds like the cup's not even here. Uh, I don't know, man. Let me roll an intelligence check. That's not something you do very well. No, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, you kidding me? She's guy? lying. She's lying. <laughs> the cup is here, full of lies and deceit, like all humans. All right. Well, nice I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll persuade, and I'll just say, uh, you know, uh. That's an awful idea to go after her right now. Uh, we're a little beat up. I, I still have the inkling that the, the cup of life is here. It's here. I know it's here. Okay. Cool. And that's where we'll end combat. You guys take your time to pillage the basement. Pillage all the pantries and bedrooms. You even do find a vault. Nice. It has a very, very complex lock mechanism. Something that is almost even beyond your grasps. But, I'll let you try to roll for it. Okay. Uh, I would be assisting Josh. Yeah, I've got, adv I've got expertise. So I'm going to yeah, check the traps first? Or? Yeah, watch check for traps. I'll assist you in looking for traps, because I don't want to die. So you have to investigate. Uh, only rolled one of them for some It's a weird-looking vault, okay. considering it's in the shape of a casket. Mm, uh -oh. This must be where the cup is. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Oh! Well I can let you know it's not trapped. <laughs> I will stand back 15 <laughs> feet at least. No, I need your help. You need to come over here and help me. <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. I said I would. So y'all make it over here to this awesome vault. Oh, God. We're going to die. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm going to open it. Yep. Here we go. With advantage. Ooh, I rolled 26. 26 is enough nice. you uh, undo the lock mechanism the top wait where are we starts like cranking I can't even see where and we are. you see the lid scroll to the left oh okay there we go yeah this is obviously you see the, right the lid starting to, to slowly rise as if uh, air pressure is being released sweet and it hisses I back up in case it's trapped it is not trapped, but outside of it, you see a creature rise up from the casket. And this creature looks old and decrepit, as if their skin has been um, wrinkled up to the bone. Very, very emaciated. And... <laughs> yeah, it might be time to go. <laughs> Mr. White dips out the door. For real? I will His... follow. No, 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 no. I'm, really, I'm, really... I'm faster than you guys, so fuck it. I'm out. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I, Mr. White, give me a history check. I back up. I leave the door open. Got it. Mr. White. Yep. Nine. It's a man. I'm like, oh my God, they kept this guy trapped in here. <laughs> he lifts himself up and out of the casket, just pushing on the uh, sides ever so slightly and nimbly steps out with extremely long appendages. He looks almost like a, a daddy long leg in humanoid form. Uh-oh. And he stands about seven feet tall. Whoa. A nine's enough to know that there was a legend of someone of the Hanovers that was a very tall fellow back in the days. But that can't be him, obviously. You don't even know what this is as you're running outside the door. And when he looks at you, his eyes are pure red cylinders. Uh... Ooh does wake me from my sleep that guy it was me mr brown (laughs) 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 i'm like uh whatever they did to you i'm really sorry (laughs) you blame mr brown yeah no i'm like we woke you up because we're looking for the cup of life do you know where it is I'm horrible at any kind of charisma stuff, so I'm just like... Uh, help me. He looks at you. Does he look human? I am the cup of life, he says, as he um slowly starts shaking in some uh, liveliness to his limbs and to his body. Mm. Mm. And you are my vessel. Time to go. I say to these guys, and I run. <laughs> yep. I think we're all trying to run. Yep. Okay, you all run where? We are getting uh, out of this house. I mean, I'm going to triple move. So is this is this right here yeah. a doorway? Yeah. Is that a doorway? Yeah, that's a doorway. Oh, that's yeah, a doorway? I hit, I hit that doorway, I okay. go this way. I'm like getting up. It's out. locked. It's locked? It's locked. Shoot. <laughs> Uh, I'm going the long way then. <laughs> yeah, I go the long way too. I'm like if it's locked, I don't even stop and try to pick it. I just make for the exit in all possible haste. Yep. All right, which way are you going out? This way. Same way you came in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. You. Um... <laughs> I'm sure right here he comes around the corner. He opens that door. <laughs> You run into Mr. Brown. He was already hiding. He's ready to go. I'm like, we gotta get the fuck out of here, Mr. Brown. It's go, bad. Go, 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 go. Yep, basically. I know when it's busted, and this job is over. <laughs> you all run out of the house without talking to anyone. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> just just kidding you make it hmm. and yes you're right this job is a bust you um did not find the cup of life you did find 111 gold what gold? you didn't take your time to really pillage too much but before you open the vault the casket whatever you want to call it you found some magic items just in case I run these characters again yay wonder if there's like a random magic item roller on roll 20. I think you just just roll D100. So I have to open the DM guide? All right, give me one second. Okay. I have to go find that. So you want to roll from each of us or? Yeah, let's get a roll from each. Yeah. Okay. There's mine. 51. D100. You just click on the D100 or? Yeah, go over to the D20, click on it, and then click on where it says D100. Oh, I just did slash roll D1, 1D100. Oh, cool. That? Oh, yeah. Dang. Man, I got a 96. Nice. It's the only good roll of this game. True. Yes, yeah, he was like, I am the cup of life. I was like, no. 
No, no, you're not. <laughs> Our, nope, I'm bad, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to be your vessel. <laughs> no, All right, no so kidding. Josh, give me a D100 roll. Again. And Alex. Yeah, again. Okay. Oh, another one? Uh, 27. Yep. I get a scroll of some such. 27. And Alex got a 23. Oh, do I get another roll? <laughs> yes, but mm. yours is separate from theirs because you did better. You get a brazier of commanding fire elementals, Josh. Oh, really? Really. Um, brazier of commanding fire elementals. Um, Alex or Mr. Red, you get boots of levitation. Damn, Matt. Nice. I don't even know what this does, but you get, Matt, a mirror of life trapping. A mirror you of life. You found the cup of life. <laughs> Mirror okay. of the mirror trapping. of life <laughs> trapping. <laughs> nice. I don't know what it does. I've never seen it. Uh, I should never give out random elementals. items. That's such a bad idea. <laughs> can I post it in the chat so you can see it? Yeah. How do you do that? Just click it, I think. Yeah, right? click on the item and then display in VTT. And you can show like my boots of levitation I just got. Uh, let's see here. Action. There's uh, mine. <clears throat> oh, wow. There's a lot. Yeah, yours is like, what the hell? Four foot tall mirror? <laughs> I'm imagining him <laughs> running a away. a mirror. <laughs> 50 <laughs> pounds. Strapped to his back. Just don't break it on your way out, man. Okay. So, with this four foot tall mirror, its surface shows faint images of creatures. Oh it weighs God, 50 this is pounds. Horrible. It has vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. It has 10 hit points, and if it is destroyed, it shatters and is destroyed at zero hit points. If you're within five feet of it, you can use an action to speak its command word and activate it. It remains activated until you use an action again. Any creature other than you that sees its reflection. Must make a DC charisma of 15 or be trapped along with anything they're wearing or carrying. Oh, no. Matt, give me a charisma save. Oh, no. Uh, F you, dude. Oh, <laughs> no. Matt never came with you. Oh, no. uh, he has advantage on the save, right? Because <laughs> development. Yeah. No, or is it? Yeah. No, it's I just it's not a, a charm. Dude. It's not charm. Just wisdom. Oh, your first one a, is a five. Yeah, but I have a cloak of protection and a ring of protection. Now. Good for you, bro. They're also in the. Yeah, at one point you guys saw Matt go around the corner, and he never came back. I was running to leave. Oh no, this is before <laughs> that. Uh, we probably okay. thought he was a vessel. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he went on the corner and didn't come back, I was like, eh. I, I can't do you dirty, stuff. man. I won't do that to you. <laughs> this is a horrible <laughs> thing. That's a terrible item. And awesome. Just in case we play these characters again. Probably won't be playing these characters again. But I can't do that to you. Yet. Yet. You haven't looked in it yet. So what, tell me when you do. Uh, I don't ever... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is that it's a creature other than you, so if he attunes to it, he's safe from it. Brian says he rolled a 44. Okay. Alright, Brian. You're out there somewhere in the void, and your character was useless because I didn't want to play him too much. 44. Is that Brian? Uh, it's I don't me. Know what that is. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, dude. He made it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got... Right at the end. Good job. Yeah, well, I had a uh, complicated day. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. So give me my magic item and tell me what I did. It sounds like I hid and left you guys all to die, which was probably the good move. That's uh, probably accurate. <laughs> yeah, right. You met up yeah. in the end. We found you as we were running from a vampire to leave. Yeah, yeah I did. Well, one more D-100 there, Brian. Another D-100? Fucking hell. Did I get my second item? 
Uh, there was no second item. That was your one item. You just roll on two tables. Yeah. Uh, Am I in the game? Let's see. Probably not. I'll reload it. You don't have any spare dice la laying around? Well, I have a million. That's what, what I, I used on my phone first, but to be honest, I didn't think you were going to take it. So, slash roll. You think I was going to give you your magic item? 1D100. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of day, folks. Yeah, <laughs> man, that sounds about right. Oh, okay. Well, you get a plus two weapon. Good for you. Nice. <laughs> of whatever you use, or whatever you want it to be. I take it. And <laughs> and run. <laughs> yeah, we all ran. It was bad at the end. Yo, we Mr. killed Brown, Burt Reynolds in his sleep, and we fought Slow You weren't that hurt, though. You might have been able to do it. Uh, what? Are you serious? Yeah. No, dude, no. You guys are all right. No, bro. I'm at 45 out of 59. I'm not doing yeah. too bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm at 42, See, I guess. All right. But as soon as it was like spidery creep guy, and he's like, I am the cup and you are the vessel. I was like, mm mm, nope. <laughs> yeah, you guys bitched out real fast. You had no yeah, problem yeah. Punking, punking those dogs that were trying to do their best to their protect dogs. their house. <laughs> they were wolves. Dogs. They were Celine Dion's minions. Well, they had to die. <laughs> my character has seen wolves before. My character has not seen creepy spider limbed guy crawling out of a coffin calling himself the cup of life i'm done <laughs> with that yeah <laughs> i mean i feel like good rogues know when to take off yeah yeah, yeah dude i said fuck this job yep. yeah got some magic items that are worth uh they're, well, they're invaluable yeah i ha i can summon a tank at will now next time i'll be like go tank <laughs> <laughs> I can right. now nope off. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, Let's go ahead and do uh, roses and thorns. You want to start, Brian? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. We we know you're. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll start. Well, thank you everyone here that is watching and joined us for our first foray into Roll Twenty. We've never used this program, so this is all pretty new to us. And I guess that's kind of my thorn in my rose. It's a different way to play D and D. I'm not used to doing it online over a microphone. I'd rather be in person, like usual. But we don't have that luxury during the quarantine, so here we are on roll twenty for the first time. I liked it, and I didn't like it. I feel like it slows things down a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to redo some recon, and you're moving your characters around, but it's fun while it's happening. Like, you can see everything moving around the map. I I like that, too. So, it's slower, but it's fun. That's my rose and my thorn. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Blue. Josh. Okay. Um, I had a good time. Like, uh, you know, being in River Hobo was fun. That was cool. Um... <laughs> that was pretty funny and you guys just killed the random people for no reason die Burt Reynolds die uh, <laughs> no that was cool uh, you know uh, let's see Thorn yeah that we're not hanging out in Ryan's man cave that were you know I mean World 20 is cool and all looking wrong I didn't I didn't have a negative experience with it and I liked uh, sort of all the running around and stuff and you know I can only imagine the amount of time that went into it though and I would rather be sitting around a table personally, but you know, that's all. And we got one more week of it. At, at least. least. Yeah. Who knows how long this quarantine will last, but definitely we have to do it next week. Same thing. Yep. Same bad time, same bad channel. Go ahead, Matt. Um, you know, dude, I, I really enjoyed everything about this game. I don't have it. Though. Um, you know, other than the obvious, uh, we're not able to, meet and greet uh but to, to say to that um my rose you know ludlow justin ludlow just posted it in the chat it's, uh it's kind of awesome to have some kind of sense of normalcy right um so it's it, i'm i'm glad it's the year 2020 and we're able to do this online and to have ryan prep this awesome 
uh, one shot for us. Uh, it was fun being a rogue, learning the mechanics. So Ryan, get used to that kind of kiting from me all the time. That's the worst. Yeah. You guys aren't playing all rogues again. <laughs> well, I'm going to be a rogue in the next campaign. Uh, that is true. You are going to be a rogue but in it was, campaign it was, three. It was fun because this was this was a different style of, of play all together, all around for us. Usually we're just like, oh, we're just going to go in and kill, kill, kill. Uh, and we got our tanks up there. and I don't know. It was fun. You know, kiting. Sorry. That was my rose. We had different uh, uh, battle mechanics, baby. So, yeah, dude. And plus, we got a few subscriptions too. So, did we? Yeah, we had we had a call. Oh, I better call those out. Yeah. I didn't even notice. I was too focused on uh, all these different tools I have to use. Go ahead, uh, Alex. Uh, so I'm going to go with, uh, the thorn being all rogue party, because when you're a rogue, you like somebody to be up front taking the damage and you to sit back and just sneak attack, which meant everybody had to try to hide, which had very much a pop and shot kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that's my thorn. Uh, I'll say... I do kind of have a second side thorn. It just bugs me that uh, not able to actually roll the dice just because I know how random numbers actually work on computer-generated things. Not actually random. Uh, oh, really? They're not random? Hey, why are you ruining the magic for us, man? <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to know how my hot dogs are made. I just want to <laughs> eat them. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean... Uh, Rose... It was nice to go in with a character and figure out what they can do. Sweet. Uh, let's do some shout-outs. Matt, you have better eyes on this than I do, yeah. apparently. So I'm just going to go from the bottom to the top. So we just got to follow from the Pumpkin Ator. Uh, we have ooh, Random Constant Cheered 50 Bits. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Random. You're awesome. Uh, nice. uh, we had uh, Z Tight follow us. That was great. Uh, Mini Van Game did a follow. Uh, uh, Frozen Fatalist. He uh, uh, not only subscribed, he's going to create uh, uh, NPC for 500 Bacon, and he has joined our disc. Uh, I was chatting with him in this. Uh, oh, sweet. Yeah, we have Neuromonic that follow. Uh, let's see what else? as I scroll up. Yep, there's a frozen subscription. Uh, da -da. Oh, dude, we should have a celebrity bake off. Rich. Oh, we should. Bone Shooter 87, bacon. thank you for your follow. Fabled 42, thank you for your follow. Uh, uh, let's see. Yes, we were using Roll20. Uh, Dark Raven 7000. Thank you for your follow. Here, we, Here's a subscription with Trip Prime. Karika, thank you for your subscription. That is, um, especially that this is not our style of uh, play all together. So good on you, Ryan, for making this look great. Zelman001, thank you for your follow. Um, and I think that's uh, Accelerate Draco. I'm not sure. Oh, Kim Ma, if you're still watching, thank you for your bits. And I think that's where we're caught up. All right. Well, thank you to Karika and Frozen Fatalis for your subscriptions, and welcome to the Breakfast Club. We do have a Discord channel for everyone, but. Yeah, come join us on Discord. You'll be a club member as a subscriber or a patron. Um, shout outs, Bacon. You can spend Bacon to help us create our next campaign. I'm going to start that campaign as soon as the quarantine's over. So I'd rather start that one live. I just like live play a lot better. We'll keep doing one shots until then. Or different themes. All rogues. All bards. Someone suggested in chat, the... all rangers, power rangers. 
<laughs> Power Rangers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> not a not a bad idea. I, I totally want to be the. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys just lame? I was just say I want to be the Green Ranger. He's definitely the. <laughs> he totally beat me to well, it. You guys have to decide what our next game is. I think we can all agree that. <clears throat> If nothing else, the White Power Ranger is unfortunately named. Yeah, very true. No one wants to be that guy. <laughs> no one's hard. No hard. No. No. So funny story. When I was in uh, uh, kindergarten, I had never seen the Power Rangers before. So everyone was, you know, playing as the Power Ranger, and they're like, "I'm the Red Power Ranger. I'm the Blue one." I was like, "I'll be the Brown Power Ranger," because I got the idea that they're all colors. <laughs> I can see that happening. That's, funny, <laughs> That's a very Alex story. <laughs> Everybody's quiet after that. It's like, mm. yep. They all just look at you like, "What?" <laughs> oh man. So what do you guys want to do next week? I think that if we're going to uh, just keep doing one-offs, maybe we could make up characters. So we just made all rogues today, and Matt's a rogue in the main campaign when it starts. Maybe we could do, like, all clerics, and then all, you know, uh, sorcerers or all wizards, and we could all playtest a group that's comprised mm -hmm. mostly of each of the character classes that we're going to play in the main campaign. Sure. Uh, all sorcerers would be so squishy. <laughs> Yeah, so it all wizards. I, mean, I already yeah. know what Alex's thorn is for next week. <laughs> <laughs> when you all die from all sorcerers, you blow stuff up really well. Oh. Yeah. Isn't there a, a... I think it made, only made it to UA, but like a giant blood sorcerer? Like for the tankier side? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I mean, I don't usually allow UA, but these are one-offs. You I let you play a turtle. Mm -hmm. How'd you like it? Oh, it was awesome, man. <laughs> Everything I helped you. <laughs> or we could play this group again. Like, we could always just keep playing. No, I don't want to play this yeah, group all, all, <laughs> all right. First of all, designing something that's around all rogues, it kind of felt... It's hard. Eh. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite um, one shot. I enjoyed the Celine Dion part. That was pretty oh, funny. See, I have to disagree, man. Ryan, I think you did a great job with it, and the fun really kind of helped to put some realism in it. Well, Sneaking around. We can, I, we can still do it. that without having all rogues that run away and shoot things and hide and shoot things and run away. Sure. Not saying my thorn out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or we could just play one shot where we just all make whatever classes we want to and just keep playing random classes over and over. Is that what you guys want to do? Uh, you know, we can, we can always uh -oh. table the discussion to discuss it through the week as well. Yeah. Right. Like we can actually get answers out of half of you during the week. Yeah. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I think we should call it now. I think the stream went down anyways. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Went offline. No. You guys just want to make random eighth level characters and get together for a one shot mashup? Sure. Okay. Um, I think more than picking, you know, just a class, which could also work, just knowing what kind of a theme, like this week being heist, uh, mm. helped unify things a little bit more than saying all sorcerers. Sure. So I don't know if you have any one to two word descriptions of. I think know, it'd be better to hunt. pick the the theme based on the uh, uh, the class that we play, not the other way around. Because it'd be weird to be like we're all sorcerers, and that's like heist. Mm. Okay, <laughs> we're not going to do that well. <laughs> what do you do? We blow up the building and walk in. <laughs> so what? Uh, Let's say we're sorcerers, and let's say we have to, uh, I don't know, what what do sorcerers have as an underlying goal? Like, well, they're go charismatic. Fuck, fuck up a dragon, go, go lie their way into a wizard academy. Ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> nice. 
we all pretend that we're really smart. Oh. It's up to you guys. We could do a wizard game. Oh, there you go. Justin Ludlow says, uh, find the source of magic. Mm -hmm. The sorcerers. Go, go find the the cup of life. <laughs> <laughs> I did like that you thought the uh, casket was a vault. Yeah, I was like, oh, totally great. It's in there. I know it is. There was a vault in the rooms. Oh, well. Sweet. Well, <laughs> that didn't happen. You found the wrong one. Bummer. There was no cup of life, obviously. No, it was, obviously. He was a vampire. <laughs> it's like immortality. Obviously, he was a vampire. We can do that. Immortality's a go. I'm like, no, no, thank you. I'm an elf. I'm already good. 700 years is long enough. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys figure it out. I guess you're all sorcerers, sorcerers. next week. Okay. All sorcerers. Try not to uh, make a storm sorcerer. Because that's Alex's for our next campaign. Right. No storm sorcerer. Oh. You can use uh, UA. You can use anything, really. I don't care. Okay. As long as it's not um, no, the brutal. wiki. Anything on D&D Beyond. How about that? All right, cool. Sweet. All right, guys. Frozen Fatalis says, uh, what are your opinions on... People playing characters based off of other characters from pop culture or media. Well, you see Sleed and Dion right there, so yeah. I, I know think how we feel. Someone, Burt Reynolds was here. Someone should use their bacon to make a, a blade dancer Kevin Bacon and make him his character <laughs> from Footloose. Uh, <laughs> I think you just called him. I think the blade dancer is a wizard, though. It is a wizard, yeah. So you gotta save, save that one. Yeah, for the wizard campaign. Or, yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure to get the right token for you when you play that character. Nice. I'm totally going to be Kevin yeah. Bacon. Be like, we all have to dance. <laughs> um, what level should we look at? What level do you want to be? Eight was really one. good. One? If we're going to play it more than once, one is okay. If we're going to play it once, one is garbage. Uh, I'm also a fan of one just because we don't have our individual abilities. Somebody roll a d10. Okay. I'm out of here. Here we go. D10. Don't let me roll it. Four. Maybe level four? What would you have done if you rolled a one? I would have voted for the one and then been downvoted. <laughs> <laughs> outvoted. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think... All right, you're level four sorcerers. Okay. You know, let's just stick with the theme. You're level eight sorcerers. Yeah, right. level eight's Sounds good, good, man. You get a lot of stuff at level 8. You feel yeah. powerful. <laughs> and make them pure. No multi-classing. No multis? No multi-classing. Okay. That's fair. I don't want to see a paladin sorcerer. <laughs> we're, we're all sorkin lock -dins. Yes. You could make <laughs> Exactly. You could make a tank sorcerer if you made a dwarf sorcerer. Yeah. Well, kind of. I mean... I think we're having yeah. a turtle sorcerer. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's like, I'm finally going to play my Torrent, <laughs> damn it. I've already got the, the icon and the picture taken out. I just, now he's magical instead of stabby. There you go. Yeah, should I just keep your guys' pictures? Are they going to be the same? I, uh, I'm probably no. going to try to do the same thing. Mine's going to be different. Yeah, mine's yeah. going to be different too. Since I got zero mileage out of mine. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, we'll see you next week, and we'll see you throughout the week on our Discord channel. Take it easy and uh, stay healthy. All right. Yeah, Adios, man. dudes. Later, guys. Bye.